So, Danny. So, Nick. When it comes down to your ability to fight things, be they mythical or non-mythical, I believe that you slightly overestimate your power level. Why would you think that? Well, well, How one, dare you? Well, so really when it comes down to it, like one, you think you could be 12-year-old Naruto. You have an uh, unfounded amount of confidence that you could beat me in a fight. Of course. Uh, and recently in a text chain that we have with Stank and my other editor, Cody, we were talking about out of all of the individual animals, not even individual, just all of the animals that you can summon with the 10 shadows, what is the one animal we could beat in a fight? What summoning from the 10 shadows could we beat in a fight? 10 shadows being Megumi's shadow puppet if you don't know the 10 shadows megami's puppet shadow technique after this long of watching this podcast figure it out i wouldn't have known I, what do you they, mean they, i didn't know based on name when you texted me 10 I, shadows yeah you literally i guess that's that's you were like oh if i want one thing from jjk it's, yeah, megami's. it's the shadow puppet it's thing. the shadow puppet yeah. thing. Yeah, that's fair. um i could take the dogs that's easy easy peasy you just couldn't i just could I, is a thing the thing okay okay here's the thing nick here uh, what's the thing allow me to interject um I, and we talked about this um, on a recent episode that we just did earlier today. Mm -hmm. Everyone's always like, oh, the character you're fighting gets to bring X tools. But for some reason, I don't. I think that's ludicrous. But okay, here's the thing. The dogs don't have tools. The dogs are dogs. Okay, but the dogs have sharp teeth. Yeah. They're spooky. Yeah. They have sharp claws. I am smart. I should be able to bring a crowbar. Why? A bat. Why? Why not? Because they're, they're fighting you with the things on their body. Okay. I'm using my wits. I Okay, your wits don't include a crowbar. <laughs> what if no, I make no, the crowbar? No amount of, no amount of IQ <laughs> testing is going to be like, oh, crowbar. <laughs> crowbar. It's not, that's not how it works. I think I could take the dogs. Do I have to fight both of them at the same time? Yes. Why? Because there's two of them. So? I could take one at a time. Why would you? Why would they wait? What do you, what are you, where, what are you where do you find them? Are you going to explain the honor code of fighting one on one to the demon dogs? But like, where do I find them? Like, why are they just always like boysing up together? Well, it's just like you're like, hey, Megami, uh, I don't like you, and he's like, well, you're going to see these dogs. But when he, I'm saying, how did he find them? Like, did he fight them both at no. the same time? So to, when you inherit the ten shadows technique, you get oh, it the comes two demon with dogs. dogs. It comes with the two dogs. That's and then you, bullshit. You use the dogs to fight all the other Shikigami. So why can't I get dogs then? Because you're not, you don't have the ten shadows. We're talking about, okay, we're talking about being inheritor. I can take dogs. Essentially, what you're asking me is if I can fight two wolves. Two, two wolves. <laughs> two wolves. Simultaneously. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I feel a little less confident. Mm -hmm. Just me bare hands. Why would you have anything else? Why? Because when am I, when do I not have something else? What are you going to find them with your iPhone? I just think it's ridiculous that the dogs get like teeth. Yeah. You <laughs> have them. <laughs> Mine suck. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Evolution fucked us. I think I could figure it out. I think it'd be tough. If I get my thumbs in their eyes, in their beady little eyes. You get all four of your thumbs in both of their four eyes simultaneously? <laughs> That's the thing. It being two dogs is obnoxious to me. Danny, you couldn't fight one wolf at a time. I could fight a wolf. Bare-handed? Yeah. They're 150 to 180 pounds. That's heavier than you. Uh, if I get my little thumbs in their little eyes. What if they get their little teeth in yeah. your little carotid artery? That's you know, that's their, that's, that's their, their win racket. state. Your yeah. win state is somehow squeezing the eyes of a moving target. Listen, he's, uh, 10 shadows comes with other animals. Yes. I've also said I can take the rabbits. I th okay. No. Okay. I have issue with that as well. Why? Because you know, all right, first off, you've seen the rabbits in the Toji fight. Yeah. They literally know Kung Fu. That's okay. Why, why does it need to be all the rabbits? I don't believe that Megumi Fought them all at once. I bet through the course of like his entire life, every time he sees a, a rabbit, he's like, add it to the list. So he that just thing's has, done. He's, he's just fighting one rabbit at a time. Yeah, maybe. Every time he sees a rabbit, he collects one. That's just that. That's like Kakashi. It's like Kakashi's theory of how we got all the separate dogs. I no, you have to fight all the rabbits, and they're not that. Listen, be it, they're not that powerful. But like Toji killing a rabbit with a, like a finger is his finger push is stronger than our strongest conceptual punch. Right. But a rabbit, hold on. I think I actually can have this one. Okay. A rabbit's raw strength. If a rabbit roundhouse kicked me, yeah. I don't think I'd really even feel it. You you would be a little stunned. I'd be a little like upset for mm -hmm. sure. But I think no, I think I could take the rabbits. 100 percent Even if they know kung fu. How many is it? A thousand. A thousand? That's tough. Definitely tougher. It's it's literally like I'm sorry, I'm I'm texting Stank. <laughs> 
Oh, go on. Um, it's literally a <laughs> thousand rabbits that can kick you in the face. Let alone, listen, that's if they're trying to use their feet in their paws. Yeah. What if they bite you? I know, they might what are you bite. What going to do about a hundred rabbit bites? Every single attack I do can kill at least one rabbit. One rabbit. Yeah. So, every, so you think you can punch a thousand rabbits to death before they bite you to death? It's definitely exhausting. I don't, I don't think there's it's a, a... It's annoying that it's a numbers game. There's That's few my things on this earth that a human could defeat a thousand of before it killed them. That's fair. A thousand I ants? I don't, I don't think I could kill a, hun, a thousand. If they, a thousand ants coordinated their attack, I think they could get me. <laughs> if they wanted you dead. I think if, yeah. they, if they worked together, I think a thousand ants could get me. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, that's my big thing. When we were having this text chain, I didn't think I had to fight all of the animals all at the same time. Well, the time. thing is, what's, what's crazy about all of this is that there's an answer. Yeah? There's the an frog answer. one? The frog one. Yeah, what does it do? Does there's it like, heal? It, it's just got like a strong tongue. Fuck. It, it just like, it like, it like shoots the tongue out and the tongue holds things. Mm. And then Megami like has new way like fly in and try and rip something apart. Mm. There's like four of them and it's just frogs that don't really fly. I mean, they're big. They're like, they're probably like 95 pound frogs. That's a big but, frog. But here's the thing. There's like a frog has a frog has less ways to kill you yeah. than a like because a frog you can actually just get in an eyeball. Yeah. They have no teeth. They're all soft. Yeah, but you ever see a frog like eat a praying mantis? They like snap their spine in half. With their big old mouth? Yeah, the big old mouth. I wonder if they have the proportional strength of a frog. I wonder if you get tongued, you're done. Yeah, they could probably look with the speed they pull you in if they get you by the waist, they yeah. snap your spine I on the way. I need at least a knife. I don't think it's fair that humans don't get tools. I, it's the coolest part about us. It, it, it for sure is, but yeah. I just don't. Listen, if you were a person who was like, I have my knife on me at all times, absolutely. Yeah. But I'm saying you're running into these frogs, these dogs on the street. Yeah. But you're not like, you're not like a, oh, I got my knife on my bail yeah, kind of guy. Not, like, that's not you. Yeah. I'm not Cody. If you get caught, if you get caught anywhere, you'll have a phone. Yeah. You'll have a backpack, maybe a right? jacket. Yeah. What do I got on me? I have keys. Keys? I can do my you do like, Liam Neeson in the gray. Yeah. Just like, yeah. My stranger safety mm -hmm. technique where you just clutch a bunch of keys yep. and start swinging. And just start throwing haymakers. Yeah. That's tough. I guess. I also keep laughing because I just hear this snarling beast yeah, 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 yeah. beneath so, me. Uh, if, if you guys can see, if you're watching, uh, I guess, well, there's currently nobody watching the live because Stank hasn't picked up. But um, if you do hear any chewing or anything like that, uh, that is Blanca. Blanca is my new foster dog. She's an absolute nightmare, but we're trying to get her to a safe home. She was on a kill list. We're saving her life. Uh, and so I she- I didn't realize we were streaming to nobody. Oh, we're streaming to zero people. <laughs> yeah, so- <laughs> Calling steak. Wow. Cut, we'll have him cut all this. On my birthday. On your birthday. No one showed <laughs> no up. No one showed up. I don't up. know why he's not picking up. He knew we were going to be streaming. So anyways. <laughs> Let's move on. None of the none of the shadow animals are, we're not defeating any of them. I guess not. We're that, not Liam Neeson in the gray. Yeah, it's annoying. It'll simply never happen. Okay. A lot happened this week. By the yeah. way, that's our cold opening. Uh, I'm Nicholas Connor, also known as the Amber 23, also known as the Weeb Commander, and I'm joined... By 28-year-old Danny Mata, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Danny Mata, otherwise known as Birthday Princess, otherwise known as 25 years old. 28-year-old Danny Mata. He's officially <laughs> the oldest person on the pod. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. That will never change also. That's mm -hmm. not a that's not a number I'm catching up Oh, it's for to. sure up for fluctuation. Yeah, is it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to think you're aging at, faster than me. I you're just you're you're just starting water. What are you talking about? You're Every, just starting well, that's exercise. True. Biologically, I probably am oh, yeah, aging. No, I'd rapidly. like to think my liver is younger than yours. Yeah, 100%. No, I drink more than you. I yeah, I like have had a collective of like twelve beers in my life. Probably. Simply not true. If I'm being generous. True. Simply not true. true. I you've had a collective of twelve beers with me. No chance. Absolutely. Zero chance. Absolutely. I'm good at being sneaky about it. No, I've 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 seen you drink four beers at least two times. I'll give you 20 beers, but I don't think it's that 20, many. There's no way. It's that it's low. No, there's yeah. no way it's 20 beers. I just beers. don't drink. I'm not like in drinking settings very often, and I don't care for drink. That's crazy. Yeah. I've had 20 beers. I didn't beers. drink until I was 21. I've had 20 beers probably in the last three weeks. <laughs> wow. It's been we went to Christmas. Vegas. It was Christmas. I went to Vegas. I went yeah. to New Year's. It was... You want to New Year's? I need. I need. I need. Uh, we, we, I need. A, I need a week of work. Yeah. Really badly. Oh, I love a week. I of work. need like five days of work and like possibly a sick. I low key love that we record on Sunday because oh, it's, it's huge. just an uninterrupted week of work. Yes, that's yeah. actually like a, the biggest thing for me as well. Um, yeah. So if you guys haven't noticed, uh, this is me and Danny's first. Uh, it, it 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 somewhat temporary thing, maybe forever. Um, but solo leveling comes out on Saturdays. Yep. 
It's the biggest anime of the season. So if me and Danny are filming on Thursdays, like we filmed last week, then we're talking about an episode that's been out for five days. And then, <laughs> oh God, by the time that, <laughs> Damn yeah, but that was wild. Um, <laughs> by the time that our episode comes out on Sunday, a new episode is out. And now we're way behind on schedule. So me and Danny are filming on Sundays, which means these episodes are coming out on Tuesdays. Uh, so we hope you don't hate us. We hope you're okay with me and Danny filming now and listening on Tuesdays. At the end of the day, it's going to be the same amount of content. We just want to be on top of things. Yeah. Uh, good show and uh, we'll get into it i also super knew that it was danny's birthday today right. which is why i bought these hats and that's ash uh that's the other thing so yeah it's uh me birthday princess it's my birthday mm -hmm. today it's his birthday he i can cry if he wants to i didn't tell nick until uh, a couple hours ago i yeah and nick didn't know and yeah, got okay. me nothing first off first off you're not the kind of person who talks about like what did you do for your birthday today today yeah Got ready for the podcast that exactly. you scheduled. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. With what time could I do something on my birthday? I don't know. We didn't have to be here till four. I'd be here at three. You were here. You were, first off, you were here at 340. Well. Let's not. The, well, guest, the guest almost beat you here. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I had no time to do any birthday festivities. You could have done something Next yesterday. Fall. Could you do I something did, tomorrow? I did some stuff. What'd you I do? I got dinner. You got dinner. I got a little dinner. For your birthday. I got a little Italian See, this dinner. Is why, this is why people, you don't make a big deal of it. You're like, oh. I no. like I'm older and a little bit uglier than last year. You, like, get, what's, one, you get one day a year yeah. to be the birthday princess. Yeah. And you know, this is what I do. I wear my birthday princess sash. Which you're I, writing the wrong way, but we'll we'll leave that. Damn it! God I get one day a year for this. <laughs> one day to be the princess that nobody gets to talk smack to. I think you just put it on the same way. There. I think you you put, you I put, put it on. The, put this on right. Put it on. Oh, the oh, 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 there's no wrong way to put it on because there's there's two different ones. That are facing in different directions. I think. I There's think. There's no right way to wear this. I. I. But it doesn't matter. It's an audio medium. This doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, because there's no. But nobody ever yeah. watches this podcast. Um, so I got my birthday princess sash on. Uh, I did truly nothing. I haven't opened my presents yet. I'm waiting for after this podcast. Well, I mean, this has got to. This counts as one of them. Well, we were sent. Um, this is unrelated to my birthday that yes. we were sent this, but we were sent I mean, a it's convenient. We were sent a Pokemon 151 box. To unbox because somebody was very excited for us to do it until I filled it with spaghetti. It's not filled with <laughs> unless this is hard and card like spaghetti. Yeah, and if I you, re wrapped it. If I swear to God, it. if you put like a lasagna shells in here, and like, dude, I wish I was smart and funny enough to have individually filled each pack with, with lasagna, like, lasagna shells? sleeves. Yeah, that would have been wild. That'd so be we, cool. We have that. Also, uh, Broken Princess, a lovely uh, patron of ours mm -hmm. and viewer, sent uh, me, you, Dorothy, and Sarah Christmas gifts, which is incredible. So those are here. We'll open those up, describe them. Got a lot, lot to do. Got a lot to do today. Uh, and the first thing that we're going to talk about is basically me and Danny are going to try and do a kind of overall catch-all on what we're watching this season. Mm -hmm. uh, because me and Danny are kind of watching different things because it's a week. Lots come out. Well, lots come out and it's also a week-ish season. Yeah. Uh, so we're trying to like dip our toe and see like where we're heading. Uh, so I want to talk. I'm just going to do like a quick hitter on something that I'm watching that you're not. Right. I started Delicious, Delicious in Dungeon. Right, why? Because it's, it's, okay, here's the thing. I'm not usually that kind of guy, right? Okay. And objectively, it is exactly what you think it is. Right. It is a show about a group. Basically, it starts with like a group fighting against this dragon and a sister pushes a brother out, brother out of the way and this mage does a spell to get everybody, like she uses an escape ladder to get out of the, the cave in Pokemon, basically. Yeah. Gets everybody out. So now oh, they, they have to- I haven't thought about escape ladder oh, in like a decade. Yeah, yeah. you just <laughs> like, get lost in a cave and you're like, yeah. I need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know, one of those fucking mountain caves and like green or emerald was awful. <laughs> Uh, so the diglets just closing in on you. Yeah, like, the fucking ratatas and yeah. the zubats just like snapping their fingers, like flipping their knives Wrong out. Wrong part of town, yeah, kid. It, literally, it's like dark and it's scary. It's yeah. awful. So, anyways, delicious in dungeon, beautiful. Uh, it is oddly fixated on food, though. Like it's like, it, of course it is. It's a cooking show, but I've never really watched like a cooking show, and it's literally just like them. You watch being, Food Wars. We've been over this. You watched a little bit of Food Wars, I thought. We've been over this. None of it. Wait, I, we've been over this. God, I, told, I, I told you I lied. Fucking hate That's you. That's when you realized. I thought you lied about how deep you were in it. Nope. Wow. Haven't seen an episode. I know it. I know of it. God. I know Soma. I know everyone thirsts after Soma's dad. We've done this. You're disgusting. I, I'm, I, Go on. I'm a shell. <laughs> I'm a you're, shell. You're a pasta shell. I am a literally. Wink. I'm And not cooked and not stuffed. Yeah. Empty. A facade. 
Uh, so it's just like literally they just like go, they're going into a dungeon to get a sister back and it's just like, oh, a monster. And then they catch it and then they cook it. And it's like funny. Right. It's like funny. It's cute. It's a warm blanket show. Um, it is beautiful, but like I have to eat while watching it. Right. Like that it's just sense. like I'm starving the entire time. Is it one of those ones that come with recipes? Like if you have like, if you want to cook up like giant scorpion with right. walking mushroom. Yeah. Because they're cooking up monsters. Right, right. I read uh, this one like manga that I talked about like weeks and weeks ago. Uh, Drifting Dragons mm. was like that, where it's just literally like a whaling manga, oh, but God. with dragons. Oh God! It's like whaling propaganda, which is why I stopped. But every chapter, they're they, like all these filthy, all these <laughs> filthy dragons <laughs> well, filling like, up our not ocean. It's funny because they're like. They do an anime slant on it where, like, the main character is like, yeah, like, I'm the Dragon Whisperer. Like, I understand and I respect them, but they're still just, like, hunting them for their fins yeah, and yeah. shit. Like, Yeah, they're literally just cutting them off and the dragon are, like, die bombing out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, that's good. That's how they should die. raining wingless dragons. Yeah. It's like, can't breathe on the ground without moving. They're like, good, <laughs> good. That's perfect. Good. Um, yeah. This- I literally can't play Monster Hunter because it makes me sad. Yeah. I cannot play mon- when they start limping. I, I, I literally I started fighting one. I was like, "This is sick." Um, I was like, "I'm fighting against this dragon." I'm gonna take its scales, and it started limping. And I was like, "What the yeah, fuck? Why, am I- why does this thing feel?" I was like, "What am I doing?" It yeah. just started limping. I was like, "It's cute. Why am I killing it?" I remember when that first like that kind of mechanic was first introduced into games, and like Game Informer was like, "Check out this sick real time pain AI," and yeah. it's like. Fuck, like, what are we, I don't like, need to see this thing what, hurt. What a response are you trying to elicit out of me? Yeah, that's so funny. It um, But yeah, so this was like just wailing propaganda. Mm. <laughs> this thing yeah, snarls. she's very loud, yes. Um, It was wailing propaganda, but every chapter would have like how to, like, how to cook this dragon dish, but mm. substituted with this different like real world meat. And so you could like learn to cook dishes by Through reading your this. wailing dragon propaganda. Yeah. That's fucking wild. Uh, another one that neither of us are going to watch Ragna Crimson. It's on high Bad. dive. It just, it was, it's I ugly. I will watch it because it's on high dive. It, yeah. It's just like, I, I have a high dive subscription that I pay for, for some reason. Ocean yeah. of Co is the reason. Uh, and uh, I'm not Eminence and Shadow. Eminence and Shadow is on it, but uh, <laughs> what's the, what's the, what's the vampire dating one? I completely forget what it's is called. Is it not Eminence? It's not Eminence of Shadow. No, that's a Isekai. There's a vampire dating one. That yeah, I'm, I know I'm what you're talking about. I don't really remember good. the name. Yeah. It's really, really good. It's like fully worth high dive, but I forget what it's called. Uh, Fragged Crimson. Bad. They're adventurers. They're in a guild. Uh, it's a weird, like, big sister, little sister, not technically related type right. thing. He's like, oh, she's the greatest uh, dragon hunter on earth, and she only likes me. And it's not like, it's not. It's not sexual, but it's still weird. Right. It's just like she's like 12. That's almost worse. Yeah. Because you're like slowly getting tricked into being like, oh, this isn't bad. And then something weird happens. And it's like, don't like to fucking come out with it, coward. If you're going to be weird, be weird. Just get ahead of it. You know, and like, it's not even like a, it's not even like a bad thing. Like, it's like not like that is bad thing, but like. It, that's not the worst thing about it. It's like, yeah. I wish I could be like, oh, it's creepy and it's gross. It's just like, it's not entertaining. Right. Like, it's yeah. just like, it was kind of ugly. The plot was derivative. I was like, I just don't, I don't want to watch this. Yeah. So I give up that like 12 minutes in. Maybe, like, listen, if you're a big Ragna Crimson manga fan or you've seen the first couple of episodes and you're like, Nick, you're missing out. It really gets good after episode one and a half. Then if I can, maybe I'll give it another chance, but I just don't. It's not for me. Yeah. Uh, outside of that, I feel like we've watched the other two things. Do you want to open with soul leveling here? Cause I'm sure well, that's what people want us to talk about. I watched also, uh, the witch and the beast. Oh yes. Yeah. So that the was witch and the Danny. You really, I really hope it's good. Cause you would not shut the fuck up about it. Here's the thing. Not good. Horrible. Really? Like shockingly bad. Why so bad? It has no budget. I was blown away by how by cheap it looks, by how cheap it is. It is so Like, not just a slideshow, Uh but, like, when it does still images, it's trying to do this, like, I don't, like, almost like, you know, sometimes in, like, Spongebob or something, they'll do a still image and it's hyper detailed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the opposite, where they do a still image, and for some reason, like, the color budget is gone. Like, things are, like, they're doing, like, a paint kind of aesthetic, but it's, like, really ugly looking. And it sucks because the manga is pretty cool. Yeah. The manga's got like, I started the manga and that's why Nick's like joking that I won't shut up about it. But I started the manga in preparation of this show because uh-huh. it looked cool and it's about like these two like witch hunters yeah. essentially and they go like 
hunt witches in like England or France or somewhere. And, uh, and one of them has like a witch's curse and she's mm. trying to like get it lifted. And so she works for this like organization and it like, the manga's really cool. The art's great, but it's really hard to tell what the fuck's going on during mm. the action sequences. So I was like, cool. That's where the anime will come in. And the anime is like dirt cheap. Yeah. It's crazy cheap. Did. I don't know, fucking some middle schooler. Yeah, like, like a team of like <laughs> four year olds. Yeah, um, I'm looking at still photos of it. It looks cool. It does. It's bad. It's really crazy. It's like a record of Ragnarok season one, where it's really just all slides. It's shows. just like terrible CGI and like reaction shots. Yeah. And like, what are we doing here? I was like blown away by how little animating was actually happening in it. So that's that was a bummer. Crazy dude, that yeah. sucks. Mm -hmm. So that's basically everything that we did. Not yeah. related to this. So do you want to talk about soul leveling? Sure. So what I do you think? I Okay, here's the thing. Oh. Here's the thing. Exciting. It's it's just what I oh. thought it would be. You know, it's like it's like a, It's different though. There's a lot of changes. There is so much added into the anime that yeah. is just simply not in the manhwa. <laughs> yeah. Like it's so at actually all? Have you finished the manhwa? Yes. Oh, like at all then. Well, uh, so kind of, it's weird. Right. So they're basically doing all of these cutaways in the beginning to introduce characters that show up later in the story. So That's it starts with a, it starts with uh, the the um, uh, okay. what's the name of the island off of uh, Guji or something like that, Jegu G Island. Guji, There's, yeah, Guji. There's Jegu Island, which is like a pet, like a like a. Whole, resort beach island off of south korea and a gate opens there that's an s rank gate and a bunch of monsters escape and that is like what they showed in the beginning and that's only ever really hinted at in the manhwa because they're like oh like the last time an s rank gate opened like it broke and like a bunch of people died like that we had no like now get you island is completely overrun nobody yeah. lives there anymore so that's kind of just like a thing that was talked about but they opened with that yeah because like in the beginning and then all the hunters are like the ants are too big. Yeah, yeah, like literally, like they're like, the ants too hard, I know. too big. <laughs> they're like, they're like, the S rank monsters broke loose and everyone died. And it's yeah. like, big ants. Big old, that's what the S rank monsters uh, look like. We, we got some big New York ants yeah, here. That's like 1,000 of those motherfuckers, no chance. <laughs> yeah, true. No chance out of those. That So they open with that, which is weird. Cause like, yeah, in the manhwa, it literally just opens with Jin Wu being like, I'm an E-rank hunter. And everyone's like, okay, cool. And then he goes right into that first gate. The he's double dungeon. the worst hunter. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah the, the weakest in the entire world. Um, there's also more exposition for the essence stones. They're like cut. You don't see the guild leader or the the like um, the president. Yeah, of the it. president. Yeah. It's for like a long time. Yeah, they so, add, they add a ton of like cutaway world building stuff. How'd you feel about it? I think it's. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Like, yeah. it's not like it's like. I, I feel like it. It's a little weird because it it takes away like the beginning of the story is already so breakneck. Like, it's like, it's literally just like he enters into a dungeon yeah. and then he's like immediately assaulted by S rank monsters that yeah, are trying yeah. to kill him. And so it's like, it's already so breakneck when you add that exposition in the beginning, it made the first episode a little slower, but the second episode was like very quickly paced. Yeah. Like it basically stuck with the double dungeon the entire time. And so like yeah. it builds out the story more for later on, which makes me believe that like they have enough faith in it that it's gonna keep towards yeah. the, like till the end. I like them changing things is a good sign to me because so many anime just like do the manga. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the fact that they're like, oh, there's a bunch of stuff that we can allude to that's coming up shows me that there's like passion mm -hmm. and that they're like, okay, like they read the whole manga and they're like, how can we improve or like pace this better? Mm -hmm. What's up? Uh, she just she smells the outdoors and she yearns for it. Um, the dog just like leapt up on the window behind me. Yeah, she's a bit of a wild. Uh, she's a bit of a wild one. Um, I call her suitcase because she's deaf and therefore the only way I get her to go anywhere is grabbing her by her handle, which yeah. is her harness, and moving her. Yeah, but um, but no, it shows that there's like passion behind like the creation of yeah. the show. I mean, it's also a one. Like they're yeah, very they're good great. at what they do. But so there's that, and then also, I, it's crazy to me that like episodes one and two didn't release together. Like you need episode two fair for this show. For him not to get the system week one is kind of crazy. It's just wild because so many people were like coming up to me and being like, yo, like solo leveling's crazy. Have you mm. seen it yet in the first week? And I saw the first episode. And I was like, this is the most boring yeah. nothing anime. And I knew what was coming. So I was like, it will be better. But yeah. I was like, 
how are people like they're they're just like hype riding well the thing like, is it's also it's got to be like kind of a call your own shot from a1 being like we're not gonna like put the double dungeon ending in mm -hmm. the beginning like you're gonna fucking like we know you'll watch till week two like it's like it yeah. they, i think a1 understands that they have the biggest anime of the season yeah and so they're like yeah you're gonna make it to see, like episode two and <laughs> what what's <laughs> what? I don't think she wanted to be on my face. Um, like, you like, we know you're going to be around till episode two. And yeah. so we'll give you the thing that everybody <laughs> wants. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll know you'll be around for episode two. Like, we can wait yeah. until the system comes around. Right. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. Episode two really did, like, even knowing what was coming, mm -hmm. it, like, kind of brought me around to it. Like, mm -hmm. episode one, I was like, oh, yeah, boring opening episode for a boring Manwa, in my opinion. Episode two, I'm like... Oh yeah, like this is a fun, clever ass like dungeon. Mm -hmm. I've never so the first volume of the Manwa is just that dungeon. Yeah. It's just the first two episodes. Yeah. I haven't read beyond that yet. So I don't know. Yeah, no, what else no, the happens. first volume, there's he levels up a little bit too. Yeah. Well, yeah, a little yeah. so yeah, episodes one through three, I'd say. And three's not out yet, obviously. But no. what's gonna happen in episode three, maybe four comprises the first volume yeah so like i hope that like other encounters keep this kind of like cleverness about mm -hmm. it because what's so fun about episode two is that it's like a riddle that you can kind of follow yeah like the first riddle is like praise god mm -hmm. and i remember reading it and i got like halfway towards him figuring out and i was like oh i wonder if you have to bow mm -hmm. and then it's that and it's yeah. like Oh, that's fun. That's like not too easy, but like. And then you see the guy walking up and being like, "Oh Lord, art thou?" And then yeah. he's like, "Wrong God!" And then just, <laughs> just jelly. Yeah. So that's sick. And then yeah, the last like, yeah, the the riddles are just like really clever, and that is like the most compelling part of it to me is mm -hmm. that I'm like, oh, they handled the first action scene in a way that is like intelligent and like fun rather than just like. Oh, cool powers. Yeah, yeah. It's like, also like they didn't, there was, it's weird. So there's some times where they shied away from gore and then there's other times where they like made it way more gory. It's like unbelievably graphic. Yeah, so Juki, like healing Jin Woo, like in the, in the manga, she just like shoots blood out of her eyes. But in this, she was like bleeding out of her eyes and yeah. all of that. And I was like, oh my God, they're leaning into it. But then there's also moments where like, I feel like the, him, the, the praying guy getting stomped was way more visceral in the manhwa. But like, they like, fully cut that dude in half. Yeah. Like the guy they cut in half, like his eyes going the other way. It was like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah, it's like wildly graphic. Yeah. It was cool though. How do you feel like excited for more or? I'm in a weird spot with it. Like I, like I am excited for it, but like, I don't, it's just like, now that I've read it colorized, it just like feels like the same thing, right? Yeah. It's just it again yeah. Yeah, yeah like it's like it's like obviously like with a manga like like a, a manga like i'm i'm seeing jjk animated and it's so vastly different because yeah. the manga is like okay artwork in the anime is fucking gorgeous the manhwa is like or the the novels as i read them is like they're gorgeous to begin with and they barely look different right yeah yeah so it's like i don't know you're doing the reading for me i guess right i know it like the manhwa is like colored the at least in the first volume there's not really like a fight it's just like it's just them getting their ass kicked it's getting them like it's them just getting like cut and cut in half yeah which i don't really need animated because i like You've get it, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not like i read like again the witch and the beast i read the manga there's like sick fights but i don't know what the hell is happening yeah. so i'm like cool i need an animation to translate this for me once he levels up once he gets system i think his first fight is a bunch of like against a bunch of like lichen or something they're like werewolves cool. he goes into like a, he goes into that subway he battles against a bunch of wolves oh, yeah. and then like he fights like some high level wolf and then there's gonna be like i don't know i think they're gonna do a thing kind of like where jjk where like short fights become long fights and right. then like like fights that we may not see get a little bit of exposition because like there's like a time where he fails some daily quests and he goes to his, like his like his penalty realm and then he has to like, run away from centipedes. So he like fights them later on, but like in the first time he just runs from, so we might yeah. see that. But like really, we don't get a Jin Wu fight until like the wolves, and then after the wolves, it's like the I don't even know. Like he does after the wolves, there's a oh there's the B rank hunter thing. Yeah, yeah there's like the with all the B rank hunters and something like that. So like it's we probably won't get like good fights until like episode like late episode three, maybe early episode four, then like episode six. Right. Yeah. It's. I also, like, don't love, I didn't love it in the manhwa either, but I don't love that it's, like, 
just a video game it's anime so in disguise. It's so video game. Like, to the point where he, like, accepts, like, yeah. a quest at the end. And like, only he can see it. He's got an inventory that's limitless. He has a leveling uh, system. Every uh, time he, like, completes a quest, he gets, like, five points for attributes and all yeah. that. I, I kind of, I, I like it and I don't. Because, like, it's kind of cool that he has, like, real-life strength modifiers. Where it's like, oh, like, if I add points into strength, yeah. I will get taller, I'll that get bigger. That is cool, yeah. And, like, you'll, you, like, see the physical change in him over time. And, like, there's, like, stamina and all that. But, like... Yeah, at a certain point, like, he just gets completely out of control. And then, like, the story gets actually more interesting in the late game. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like you figure out why the system was given to him and, like, the mechanisms behind the system. And it's like, oh, there's greater powers at be here. And, like, that's who, like, created the system. And, like, it's because the world is in a cycle type thing. It's, like, really cool. But getting to that point, it's kind of just going to be, and I think everybody who's watching this knows this, it's literally just... You're watching it because it looks good and the fights are good. Yeah. Like it, if this wasn't if this was animated to anything other than like stunning 4K. Yeah. I think we could go. It's like not great. Yeah. Like, I agree. It's like fine. The, like I said, the biggest thing it has going for it is the fact that it's a puzzle. Like it's a yeah. riddle episode rather than just like a regular fight. But otherwise, it's like there's nothing about this that isn't like Shangri La Frontier or sort like, of yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. So Minus it's, like the Isekai. Like the Isekai, it yeah. comes to him, right? Yeah. It's like not a reverse Isekai where a fantasy character True, gets the world shot goes into to the, him. Yeah, like literally just like a video game world adapts to him. It's yeah. SAO, the AR movie, basically. It's yeah. like, they're like, oh, you have a leveling system. You're within the own constraint, like constraints of your own body type of thing. And like, so it's good. It's fun. I really like the manhwa, but it takes a while to like truly get to the point where I enjoy. Yeah. Because there's like... There's like uh, two or three novels in the middle there where it's just like him being powerful, fighting monsters. Yeah. And I'm like, I get it. I, I get that we're revealing like he's got a job switch and like he's got better items and he's getting stronger and all of that. And like that's like character development. And it's a long story. It's 179 chapters, I think. What? Yeah. No, it is. I, I, I look it up right now. All right. I'll tell you right now, the manhwa is at least 170 chapters. What? I thought it was like seven volumes. It's Thir- the light novel was 13 volumes. Um, not all the volumes, not all the colorized like Monroe volumes are out. I think they're up to seven right now. Uh, so there'll be like possibly six more of those. But oh my God, 270. 270. Chapters. In the. In the Monwa. Really? Yeah. What's it in the web novel? I don't know. Oh, it's 179 in the web novel, 270 in the, yeah, in the Monwa or something like that. Sure. Because it was a web novel first, then it was a manhwa, and then it was all the colorized. Like, like it didn't get big in America until they started making, and like around the world until they started making those, those like light novel type right. things, like the big old books for yeah, everybody yeah. to enjoy. Crazy. Yeah. But yeah, it's okay it's, so far. It's fun. Yeah. It's funnish. Yeah, I'm a, like I'm excited enough. Like you said, A1, mm-hmm. we don't watch enough A1 stuff. Like I, we, I feel like you don't make enough. They make plenty. They yeah, made, they do made, they? Oh, yeah. They made Licorice Recoil, okay, which but we like, didn't watch. Is that on us? I don't did know. Anybody, did anybody watch? Listen, I understand that people watch it, but like- Listen, nobody would have asked us to. I wonder, is Apothecary Diaries A1, or do oh, I just think no that way. because of the letter A? There's no way. I might think that because of the letter A. The only thing that I think of when I think A1 is the fact that they've done SAO. Oh, they also A1 did. Um, oh God, I hate that my anime list is all in fucking Japanese. Um, they did Erased. Uh, oh, so they've crazy. done all of Sao. They do, they do Blue Exorcist. They did Fairy Tale. Uh, they do Kaguya-sama, Love Is War. Uh, they did Darling in the Franks. Okay, no, it's starting to make sense. Yeah, so they do Kaguya-sama, Love Is War. They're which doing obviously, Fate, Strange Fake. They did Black Butler. Oh, whoa. Yep. Um, they did the first two seasons of Seven Deadly Sins before it got really shitty. I wonder I wonder what seasons of Black Butler. Because season one's nothing special. Season three's really good. And then the movie Book of Atlantic is crazy well animated. Oh, they did fucking Gate? Gate is so funny. You should watch Gate. Gate's yeah. A, Gate is basically just like a, a propaganda anime for uh, the Japanese Defense Forces. So basically oh, yeah. it's like uh, like gates open up into a medieval world like an isekai. But it's like just the, like Japan has access to this medieval world and it's being run by like evil kings on like horseback, right? Who are, like wear armor and have like spears. Right. And so like Japan just rolls fucking tanks in. And, oh, like, you told me this. Massive yeah. armies of like evil people and they just mow them down. Yeah, it's like so literally funny. like a school shooter simulator against like whole like cavalry man it's yeah. fucking hilarious you know what else they did what fairy tale yep we don't talk about that ever 
because neither of us have seen fairy tales. That's just crazy to me. You've never seen fairy tales. I've seen 150 episodes of it, and I genuinely blanked all of it out. Yeah? I've seen the first 150 episodes. We got to a filler arc where the bad guy's powers were farting, and I was like, I'm too old for this. Yeah. It seems identical to Black Clover to me, Ugh. which is why it shocks me I, that you don't watch it. I mean, that's actually probably fair. It seems like horny Black Clover. It's hornier. It's yeah. definitely I mean, like Black Clover is also like- Pretty horny. Pretty horny. Yeah. But it's not as bad as fairy tale. Right. No, they did a lot. Kaguya-sama, Love is War, SAO, gotcha. Magi, 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 I think is how you say that. But yeah, um, solo leveling. Cool. I'm excited. Like you said, if the animation wasn't good, like I wouldn't care. But yeah. we'll see. I mean, there's got to be a reason people are into it. Like I'm excited to see. I mean, I've read the whole thing. I, under, I understand why people are into it. It's a good story. But like, we're not going to, we, we cannot sit here and be like, oh, solo leveling is yeah. the greatest story ever told. No, it's got yeah. great fights. It's got cool characters. It's got pretty colors. Yeah. It's not, it's such a. It has colors. It, yeah, it has when, colors. Yeah. And no, you're, you're 100% right when you're saying that like one of the biggest reasons that solo leveling got as big as it did is because colorized manga. Yeah. Like Naruto was better to recolorize. One Piece, better to recolorize. One Piece is not. Really? I will die on that hill. Everybody's like, when I was doing my like manga updates on One Piece, mm -hmm. um, everybody was like, bro, why are you reading it in black and white? The colorization makes it feel like a coloring book. Really? Because it's like. Not in the lines. It's like not really in the lines. Mm -hmm. Like every, the outline and the edge of where it's colored, there's like a little white fade mm -hmm. between it. And it's like, it's so washed out i don't yeah. mind the colors but it just it's feels dull. it's really dull colors yeah it's yeah. weird and it's like it's not like a comic book it's like select things are like in color yeah so it's it's strange and also like when it's in black and white the gore and like the intensity feels more striking it's gritty yeah it's very gritty because like the blood is black and so is everything else. So mm. everything could be blood. blood like, yeah, yeah. yeah so. it just be Luffy just dripping in blood. So yeah, yeah, no, I mean, obviously we're excited for like the moving forward uh, to see more of it. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be talking a lot about it. You know, it's like you're, you're fucking, you're going to listen to us talk about it. I wonder how far they're going to go. Is it, do we know if it's 12 or 24? I don't know. Check. Cause. Oh if wait, I did check. I think it's 24. If it's 24, they're going to fucking, it's like the story's long, but it's not like crazy crazy like you could sit down if all 13 of the books were out you 12 could, 12 okay yeah. that'll probably be the first th like two and a half volumes i feel like yeah we're not gonna get to anything important Sick. like we're just like exciting we're, we're gonna get to like him just being like strong it might yeah. like end with the b rank hunter no, no i don't know not. who knows how much they'll change it though like these episodes have had a lot of changes. They've They're also very like different. focused way more on his sister and his mother than they did in the Manwa at all. They focused, like, yeah, on them at all, yeah. which the Manwa doesn't. They just like, the like they volume. imply their presence. And yeah. then like in the, by the time the second volume comes around, you meet a sister and she's like, oh, you've gotten big and strong. And you're yeah. like, all right, chill out. <laughs> yeah, then, again, like, if, then again, if your sibling grew like seven inches yeah. and put on like 40 pounds of muscle mass in a week, yeah, I, I would probably also be like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. I'd be like, oh, can I to me when yeah. does that kick in for me gene wise yeah. yeah when do i get the stats yeah when do like, i get the fucking yeah the strength stat yeah. boost uh give me so, your rare candy so i think we're gonna i think yeah, we'll, we're obviously gonna stick with it uh do you want to talk about the other thing actually no i have to talk about i have to talk about something with you what do you have to talk because i'm fucking i'm so pissed at you i've done nothing i'm so i do so listen. little i do so little to affect you and yet you find ways to be upset i cannot believe you won't watch mashal <laughs> It's, Here we go. Listen, Mashal is the best anime this season. You know what's funny? I know where this is going. Can I can I get there real quick? I would say it's partially that. Okay. But it's also mostly because Mashal is just fucking fun. I watched what everybody's talking about yeah. when it comes to Mashal, which is the opening. Uh, and bing, bong, bong, bing, bong, it bing, was bong, bong, so bong. so good, so good, so unbelievably good. Best that opening I, in years. That I was like, you know, I'm gonna skim around this episode. I'm yeah. gonna see if there's something that will like force me to watch this show. Uh -huh. Nothing. What boring? You you have to Boo. you have to love the characters. I don't want to watch a fucking mob psycho without the good action and animation. There's so much good action and good animation. I don't want to watch a One Punch Man end of statement. Like, I just don't like that type of comedy anime. It's just awkward. Goop. Like, I hardly like Mob Psycho when it's being funny. I only like Reagan. Reagan is very funny. Reagan's I very like, funny. I love the self-defense. The self-defense attacks are that's my so favorite. That's so good. I hate Dimple. 
I hate like Dimple is what I, did you finish, Mom? No, I saw I need to finish. So uh, you haven't gotten three. to Golden Dimple. Golden Dip, listen, you all, oh, hi. Oh. Okay, I would know. You would know. Dimple's one of the yeah. best characters in the entire show. I just don't, yeah, I don't love that kind of, like, humor. I don't like any of, like, One Punch Man's humor. Uh, and it's just, it's very similar to that, even in, like, art style. This hurts me so badly. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> it's so, like, first off, the opening is fucking a banger. Like, it's, like, it's unravel-level yeah. good. Like, it's, like... It's incredible. It's in all time, like, this will be remembered as... It's literally just Jersey beat. Like, it's, like, Jersey club music. Uh, there's a squeaking bed and everything. Like, it's, like, I can make your bed rock. Like, it is <laughs> yeah. so good. But the season, like, it coming back has reminded me of everything I love about Mashal. Because I do love that. I love stupid anime comedies. And it's... It not it doesn't turn any tropes on its head or anything, but it like acknowledges the things that like comedy animes do and it yeah. kind of laughs at them. But it's like also like not being like so intelligent about it that it's also not getting that punch. I like I get recommended all the time, like comedic anime. Yeah. And I like I'll do like a romance every now and then, like on my channel, mm. just because people like seeing that. I so like, am not about to sit down and watch a comedy anime on my own, not for work. Like, if I have to, I'll watch Mashal for work. Mm -hmm. I love Spy Family and Buddy Daddies. Those yeah. are the only two, but because they're, like, super well animated, Spy Family's really funny. Yeah. I guess, you know, I'm, like, not even gonna finish this train of thought. Like, it's just that style of comedy I don't love. Is the awkward, like... It's, well, it's not, it's like, it's like, uh, bits. Super goofy, It's like Japanese yeah. bits is what it is. Yeah, I don't like bits. So, Fuck it. Yeah, that's, well, you don't like Japanese bits. Yeah. You don't like tropes. No, I mean, I don't know. I just, like, I would take, like, a Madoka Magica type of tone over, like... A One Punch Man tone any day. But those are in compare. Oh, I guess. I, like, you, you want a I darker tone. Yeah, I want something like intense and fucked up rather than like funny. I guess. Ridiculous. I, I, think, I think I can enjoy the plot of a thing with like also being like this is objectively silly. Yeah. Because like MASH is like he's an idiot, but like he's got like a friend who's a delinquent. He's got a girl who's in love with him. He's got a guy who loves his sister too much. Like it was like there's a bunch of different tropes that you see. It's like. And that are all like copy and cut from like yeah. the anime playbook. Right. And they kind of play on those things, but at the same time, they do them really well. And I think like there's also just the fact that like it is just Harry Potter, yeah. but done better. Right. It's one of my favorite things of all time. I'll check it out. Like, I'll see how the dub is. Maybe it'll be one where I just like crush through some League of Legends matches while this is like playing on another I, monitor. Because the thing like, is you don't need to like keep up with the plot. Yeah, exactly. Like I'll, I'll give it like a little sampler. If you understand Harry Potter, you yeah. will understand this. Are the fights good? Yes. Interesting. The fights are very fun. That's good. Because it's just, it's MASH. It's a bunch of people trying to use magic and MASH is having to get around their magic and punch them in the fucking face. I love that in concept. Yeah. I'm like, it's just a bummer that I don't love the tone. It's, there's obviously moments like, and I know the moments that you won't like. It's like <laughs> they go out to get cream pops or something. Or it's like, there's a group of four of them that are idiots and then they have their Ron Weasley who's like, uh, they're always like, Con, con. They're just like celebrating whatever they're like. If they win a fight, they'll be like, yeah, yeah. And just like yeah. celebrate and like run around. It's really funny. And then like one of them is like much more serious and less like ridiculous is like, they're all fucking idiots. And yeah. it's, like kind of, it's kind of fun. Yeah. I like, I mean, I love Excalibur. Uh -huh. The whole neighborhood is on fire. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Now. This is LA, baby. It's like we're in Gotham as this like ambulance roars mm -hmm. towards us. Um, Like I love Excalibur and Soul eater mm -hmm. i almost said solar leveling solar leveling yes yeah. um so like oh, excalibur would mop in solar leveling yeah. <laughs> oh my god he would mop no Jin Woo literally becomes like a god eventually do you want to know uh or do you know who sings the opening in mashal season two creepy nuts creepy nuts creepy baby. Nuts. they also do um you know that that oh fuck what is it oh wait it is eminence in shadow oh mm -hmm. my god wait no i was right mm -hmm. So Eminence, so Creepy Nuts does Eminence in Shadow. Hmm. Wait, no, 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 not Eminence. Is it Eminence in Shadow? Do they do Devil Man Cry, baby, because that's got like rap in it. No, it is the Eminence. No, Eminence in Shadow. What is this? I've never. Oh no, that is the Harem anime. Fuck. What is it? There's a. They do the opening to the High Dive uh, anime I was talking about earlier. Um, Chat. Oh what is this vampire ass anime? Nick is. Can we play this? Probably not. Probably <laughs> good not. Call, good call shutting that shit down. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead and mute that. Uh, but bing, bong, bong, bing, bong, bong. Already has 6.3 million streams. Wow. 
I know. I do love it. I love that song. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yeah, but Creepy Nuts does the opening to the, and the closing to the, the vampire dating show. And I cannot remember for the life of me what it is called, but it's on High Dive and people are probably going to yell it in the comments and that's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, but I'll check it out. I'll, you, I'll do like a little sampler platter while I'm playing video just games. Go open heart yeah you know it's going just like ready to love ready to laugh for sure that's all you got to do all right and then the last thing that we're probably watching simultaneously yeah is metallic rouge i kind of love it i feel as though i could learn to love it i don't know what's going on either if that helps i really don't know what's happening should we talk through it show? together we should probably talk through it together it's about drugs so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's androids. Yeah. There's androids and there's humans. Yeah. And the only way to really tell if an android is a, like not a human is to see if they have what's called a nectar, like a nectar input port. I don't know. Cause they look like robots. You no, know? no. A lot some of, the of them really look some like of the robots. robots look, Cause they have the lines. Yeah, and shit. exactly. Some of the, like some of the robots but look yeah. like robots, but the main but character okay. is a robot. And you like, you don't really know until you see or shoot up what they call yeah. nectar. But humans can do nectar too. H apparently humans can do like basically for some reason, the robots were designed with the necessity to like mainline heroin. Yeah. Like it's like every 12 hours, they need a shot of heroin. Otherwise they fucking die. Yeah. Which like, if you can make a human, a human looking robot capable of, of emotions, speech and working a job. Yeah. Why addiction? Why addiction? <laughs> yeah. that, that's great. Like maybe it's a way to differentiate them. I, I wonder if it's like. It's a control. I, it's gotta be a control. It's a mechanism. control thing where it's like in Halo and like the Halo universe and a lot of things actually. There's like. A AI have a rampancy where like AI are good to go for seven years and then they'll develop like what is essentially like a brain degenerative Yeah, that's why Cortana disease. dies. Yeah, and then Cortana dies. Yeah. Um, or does she? Oh, oh, she gets uh, re-up. I don't know. I never, I never played five. It's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Um, so Did I want- play five? Which one had the orange guys? Four. Okay, I played yeah. four. Um, but like- so that's the thing. I wonder if it's like one of those things where it's like, and I think Blade Runner is like that too, where like after like seven years, mm -hmm. I think Blade Runner or androids have to be hunted down and decommissioned by Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And something so like that. It's literally just so that they don't get too smart mm -hmm. and like too old. So it could be that, like keeping them pinned down. It's a good then, idea. And then if you want an android to just stop existing, you just keep them away from Nectar. Yeah. Like, like making them dependent on humans, but then they can just like, they can just take, they can take over like the supply system and the demand. Yeah. Like it's always, you're always like one move, one revolutionary move away from the Android taking over. Right. But like, yeah, it's about drugs. Maybe. Yeah. Cause, Cause there's the main character who's Rouge. Yeah. Um, and she works at like a strip club. Sure. For a little bit. Yeah. For this lady named Sarah, who's yeah. a robot but a different kind of robot. Yeah, and she also, yeah, yes. And then she's also got this, like, bird who she talks to. Yeah, but the bird is, is a, a woman, woman who's, who's a human. using the bird as a drone. Yeah. But then that bird gets killed by a guy. By who, Vash. By the Vash. The stampede. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. literally, like, yeah, the tornado who works for a thing called, like, the, the altar or something. Yeah, yes. I genuinely don't know what's it's, going it's, on. It's <laughs> almost, watching episode one, you're like, this is episode four. yeah. Here's the thing, mm -hmm. in its defense, okay, pros and cons, yes. right? Really hard to tell what's going on. Yes. I kind of want to, I'll watch it week to week. Mm -hmm. I kind of am excited for the dub to come out because I'll understand that out. better. Is it? Yeah, it came out simultaneously. It's one of my notes. The dub came out simultaneously with the sub. That rules. Did I not check? Did you watch on Crunchyroll? Because they just auto put it on dub for me and I was fucking baffled for like 30 <laughs> seconds. I was like, do I understand Japanese? <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, why? There's no, there's no subtitles, but I know what's happening. Damn. I checked. I like straight up checked because it said like sub and dub. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, no way. So, right. It's confusing. That's the con. Yeah. The pro, I would say, it has the potential to genuinely be one of the best animated shows ever, including JJK season two. If it pays off its plot and also keeps looking the way it does. I mean, j in terms of just like visuals, mm. there is like, so one of my notes was just, everyone is moving all the time. Mm. There is so much constant movement yeah and the robot so it's like kind of a mecha kind of a power rangers thing it's yeah it's it's a it's a what is it called super satan it's like yeah. a satan yeah like kind of like because they're not like superheroes mm. they're like 
assassins that they just have like a, a like a warframe. We don't, we don't need yeah, it's like it's warframe style, but we don't even know what they are really quite I, yet. We don't know a goddamn. We don't thing know. Like Rouge is like obviously the good guy, <laughs> yeah. but we don't know. Like I think they're killing Sarah because she sold yeah. information about a transport of nectar. Right. So I think like Rouge is like a vigilante for yeah. the. I think they call them neons or something. Yeah. I, you know, you're the info guy. I well, so that's that's yeah. the reason why I'm like kind of most stoked on Metallic Rouge this season is because if it does well, yeah, that's you. I'm reading the manga, and then I'm like, okay, cool. Guess who's making money? I think it's an original. Oh no, I think so. You don't think so? <laughs> no, don't I? I listen. That see, <laughs> that is the worst. It's not the worst possible thing that could happen to me. It's but harder like, to study well then because yeah, then i don't get to study it at all yeah. yeah and then it's like okay cool i can make like react I, well, I can make theories you know yeah. and then nobody can be like oh your theory is wrong which is kind of what i do with like anime that come out or the manga that come out right now right so let's see uh metallic rouge manga i'm seeing animated series is there a manga is a japanese original yeah. anime television I series so. so it's it's bones i think it's is, studio bones yeah well it's bones is 25th anniversary it's made in commemoration for Bones' 25th anniversary. Okay. So, like, Bones is like, hey, shout out to us. Here's a fucking anime. Yeah, I, I don't, so. I, Which weird. is a weird way to celebrate. Yeah, shout out to us. Here's an anime we've never made before. Like, yeah. Hope you like it. Yeah, but it, like. It's kind of like a, kind of like a heat check. Be like, oh, oh, we're yeah. fucking Bones. Yeah. You'll watch our anime original <laughs> yeah. celebration anime. Yeah. It's so, I like, the only thing that's worrying about that is I, because, like, I'm fine with like a one season anime, mm -hmm. but if this is good, I'm going to be like, give me a hundred episodes. I like, feel like it's going to fall. It's either going to fall into two categories for me. It's either going to end up as Vivi of the fluoride eyes, which yeah. is going to be a massively good, wildly underappreciated mech ish anime, yeah, like one and, season anime. And it's almost, it's a very similar plot yeah. where Vivi is traveling through time to try and stop an AI uprising to save humanity kind yeah. of. So it's like, already got that ai aspect or it's gonna end up as uh what was the thing that michaela worked on um oh fuck what did michaela work michaela on? was the voice and we're like oh my god you did anime um oh yeah what was platinum that and, or it's oh, or it's oh, gonna yeah, be platinum baseball end. like yeah robots yeah well but not there's like mecca there's a baseball, baseball scene there's oh, angels I've and there also the is kind of mecca yeah, yeah i well but so what i was gonna say about the mecca is that it's all 2d animated mm. it's not cg sometimes it kind of looks cg because i feel like i was expecting it to be mm. but like the standard right now is that like if you're doing mecha stuff you make it cg because mecha is really hard to animate and draw yeah this just looks crazy like i don't know the animation's like unbelievably good yeah again i wasn't really attached to anything because i don't know what's happening yeah Designs and no, are the cool. thing is nobody does yeah that's the craziest bit is that there's no answers right yeah. now I'm excited for it though. I guess like, I could I could I could be like, a, hey, here's possibly what's happening, with Metallic Rouge. Yeah, if good luck. I guess no one can say you're wrong. But yeah, he's like, hey man, like, just like I don't think those yeah. would do any numbers whatsoever. But if it picks up, I, yeah, it's there's an idea right there. No, for sure. I mean, like, I'd love for it to like, if it's good, I love for it to do well. Like, I kind of wish that happened more often. What? I want more anime original television. Yeah, I, they're always sick. Like Licorice Recoil, which we haven't watched. Yeah, uh, apparently good. Birdie Wing I was think an was an original. Birdie Wing mm -hmm. uh, was an original. Uh, High Card, which mm -hmm. I still got to catch up with, but that you, came you've out. You saying you were going to get on to it. I know, I keep saying it. There's no dub of any season. You you know how to read, I think, I at least. I know, but I'm like, if I'm going to just like crush through one for the pod, I want to be able to just like, like smooth brain it, you know? Like, would, I, okay, i I, I sort of, I guess, because I am watching Link Link in English yeah. and I fucking devoured it. Yeah, exactly. It's so much easier because then, then I can do like side activities. Like yeah. I can like draw or like work on something and watch it. Like if it's in subtitles, I got to just like plant on the couch mm -hmm. and be sucked in. Which I, I kind of like. I like it. If I don't the like being able to good. be distracted. Uh, yeah, if it's good. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. If I'm doing one like high card, which is a gamble, zing. Yeah. Um, got it. Then... And, like, if it starts being slow, then I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to abandon this fully. But mm -hmm. if it's, like, a 7 out of 10 okay anime in dub, I'll be like, whatever, I'll keep it on in the background. Yeah. Like, maybe it gets better. That's fair. That was kind of what I did with, like, I think it was called Good Night World, which is, like, a like a video game AI yeah. one that came out on Netflix. And I was like, I'll watch this while I cook. Mm -hmm. like, like, there is background anime where, like, I'm not going to talk about this, but, like, they put it on. I can, yeah. like, crush through it. But, like, Link Click, I could watch in subtitles. Yeah. And I would like to talk about it because. Season two? 
Please do not spoil. I, I'm I not going to spoil. Okay. My fucking God, are you going to be lost? What do you mean? I've, it's confusing? I've had to rewatch several episodes. Wow. It's, it's not super complicated, but for the first six or seven episodes, there's like so many. I, it, oh man, season two is weird. Really? Season I hear one, it's like way better. You didn't like it? I wouldn't say so. Wow. I'm not going to say it's worse, but it is very different. Gotcha. Like Link Click season one has to me some of the greatest episodes I've seen in recent anime as one-off stories. Right. Right. There's the, there's the, the earthquake. Yeah. There's you the noodle the shop. You love the 5.5 one. The, the old man the walking old up man. the steps. They're individual characteristic stories that are like massive character building, like character driven drama arcs. And they're one episode long and they're gorgeous. Yeah. This is, this season is trying to tell an overall arching story that's like, oh, uh, the serial killer is getting involved and it's like, oh, do they have powers? Can they jump right. into photos? Like, what's going on here? Like, we have to catch them. Oh, Shang's gone. Oh, Lu Guang's gone. Like, it's like, and so it's like a 12 episode commitment to the same timeline. And I feel like you lose that character driven aspect of it for the plot. Yeah. And it's like, that's understandable because we're not just going to do episodic like, hey, uh, the day in the life of two photograph jumpers. Like there's gotta be an, a natural conclusion to the story. Right. We have to be like, oh, there's building action that'll bring us to a climax. And there's really good fights. There's, yeah. The plot itself is also Crazy. really good. And oh, dude, the, like some of the craziest fights I've seen, period. <laughs> there's like, um, what's the girl's name? Um, The one who stabs Lou at yeah, the yeah, end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember her name either. Um, Also don't reveal if what happened to Lou, if you can. Cause as far as I know, he is dead. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. So there's a battle. There's a fight between like a street fighter, yeah. like a legendary street fighter, Shang and her. Yeah. And it's like eight minutes long. <laughs> and it's in like, she's just like, she's getting tossed. Yeah. Like they're just like throwing haymakers on this dude. It's crazy. The fight animation in that show is way too good for I know. what the show is. That's what I love about Link Click is it's such a weird sleeper yeah. hit of like every genre. Yeah. Like, when Lu like or uh, when Shang like at the end of season one is just like welcome to my boss arena like mm. claps into the photo room and starts wailing and just on the dude overhand rights yeah. on him from behind yeah I just like I'm like this is one of the cooler fights I've ever seen period like yeah. so that's exciting I mean yeah that's interesting that like you like the one off tales more than them doing this grand thing it's just the stories that they were able to tell in 20 minutes were so compelling. Yeah. And I think it was also like TikTok brain where I was like, <laughs> it was like rising middle and falling action yeah. in 22 minutes. And now it's like, Oh, like it's like, it's like, Oh, there's a big bad guy yeah. that's being introduced in chapter two. And then he introduces you to another big bad guy and here's his accomplice. And that's actually who's pushing all this. And it's a really good story they're telling. And it's like, I'm now on episode 11. So it's building like really, really well. Also, unfortunately I watched the majority of season two on an airplane because oh, I downloaded the first, I, I downloaded episodes one through seven onto my iPad yeah. and then I watched them on my way to Denver and on my way back. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, maybe I'm not consuming this in as good an environment as I watched season one. Cause like at home sitting on my couch. Right. Meanwhile, I'm like cramped on the window seat, watching this on an iPad. Like, right. Which is so nice though. Cause like link click, it feels though the only anime I'm currently watching or I wouldn't have to be like, turn it away from the person right, sitting next yeah, to me. True. I'm like, oh, like there's like a little girl. There's like a scene where a little girl is with her, her mother and like she's trying to win a claw game. Yeah. And I'm like, if this was regular anime, one of them would get shot. There'd be a weird <laughs> yeah. upskirt shot on the little girl yeah. or something. But Link Click, it's just like, oh, it's a character driven story about like fleshing out the backstories of these two characters. I know. I watched like parts of Blue Eyed Samurai on a plane and I was just like, this whole goddamn episode have to take place in a brothel? Yeah, it's like, it's like, like is yeah. this, why is the POV the eye of a penis? Yeah, why like, Why is the script like interior, day, snatch? Yeah, like, like, yeah. it's like the, the hairiest pussy you've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> and you're like, I know, oh God. <laughs> yeah, pussy. it's like a man getting sucked off by an octopus. And you're yeah. like, why? I know, it's intense. So yeah, watching anime on planes, very cool sometimes, 40% of the time. If they're Chinese. Yeah, exactly. If, as long as they're Chinese, like that's, then you'll be all right. Chinese anime is sick or like Donghua rather. Well, it's so weird, right? Because like currently as it stands, like Japan is known for like its animation. Like that's like, and then Japan's live action is terrible. Yeah. Like I, like I, there's some good Japanese live action, but most of it has got awful. Yeah. Korea is known for its live action. They make incredible dramas. Yeah. They make incredible reality TV shows. Korea 
exclusively makes good live action content. Yes. Like they refuse to make bad films. I, like, their, their films are fantastic. Yeah. Their TV shows are better. Like their reality TV shows are good. Their game shows are good. Yeah. Squid Games changed the world. Mm -hmm. Like it's like Squid Games changed the world. Parasite changed the world. I mean, and Dorothy are massive singles Inferno fans. Like we watch basically anything Korean we can yeah. like consume. Parasite. And, Parasite. Also, like, changed the world. And that, everything that director has done. Uh, what is the other one? Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer's good. Okja. Was that? Okja. I haven't seen Okja. Oh, uh, no what's one, else one has either. What's the one about um, where the giant fish is Dad eating people? Dadbolt, the host. The host. Yeah. The host is very good. Yeah, I haven't seen it. It's very good. It's <laughs> fucking sad, though. Oh, Damn. my God. So, and then, like, it's funny to see that China is now, like, getting into the animation space and, like, doing yeah. it very, like, Apothecary Diaries. Isn't that Chinese? Is it? I think so. I don't know. I know Heaven Official's Blessing mm -hmm. is on its second season right now. People love it. The animation's very good. It is a fucking, like, if the plot is a rope mm -hmm. that I have to, like, hold on to, and the longer I hold on to the rope, I understand the plot. Mm -hmm. It is covered in butter from beginning to end. It's just hard to understand. I, it's just like. Isn't I, it a story about two men trying not to kiss? Like, how complicated could it be? Yes, it's literally edging the show. Mm -hmm. I like there is never a five minute long span where I know what's going on. How? <laughs> like, what just, is it about? I hey, guess what? I uh, don't do know. You have no clue. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just trying to see these boys kiss. It's just like because I don't understand. Like China has like the only pantheon in the history of the world that I don't really know anything about. It's, like, well, the Japanese pantheon is widely taken from China. Well, but it's like it's all. It takes place in heaven okay. and also like the spirit realms and shit. Mm -hmm. And there's like a thousand gods, mm -hmm. but they're all like generals. Gotcha. Like, they're all like generals and like marshals. What is it like? Suzaku, Seiriku, Genba. Nope. Genbu. Don't no. know what you're saying. Okay, those are the protectors of the four cardinal directions. No, it's like none of that shit. It's okay. like they're all generals. It's like Windmaster is one of them. Okay. Earthmaster. Like, well, Thundress and Landris are based off Chinese gods. It's not like, it's not gods in the sense that like Greece has them where it's like God of water, one guy, mm. that dude, he's got it covered. Fire, Prometheus. Well, let's all sit here and act like the Greece doesn't have like the God of wine. Right. But there's only one God, god of, of wine. wine. Okay. This is like a thousand gods. Mm. They all do everything. Yeah. It's almost like a race of okay. beings. Well, the reason is it's because there's 52 different ethnicities within the confines of China and all of them have different rules, religions, Christ. and like languages. Yeah. But so it's, there's almost like most most places speak Mandarin in yeah, China, but like right. there's 52 different dialects within China. Well, but I just mean it's like it's less like gods in the sense of like other pantheons and more like a literal like species of beings. Yes. Yeah. Who all just have these like genetic powers, essentially. That's also and, kind of the way that it's because of Buddhism. Because Buddhism right. is also yes, mostly exactly. that. Yeah, and they're like ranking up, ranking down. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's that, and they're like, the main character is sort of a witcher, where he's like going around spirit realms, like stopping ghosts and ghouls. Okay. And he's trying so hard not to kiss this other yeah, god. Yeah, that other like, oh, <laughs> god. I'm going to kill this ghost. Oh, it looks so good in blood. And yeah. it's like, no, I can't. He's like trying really hard not to kiss this other god. And the other god's like, maybe this evil ghost devil god. It, it, so Lovers to enemies, question mark? I hope. Yeah. I'm hoping. But the thing is, it's so like gentle and like it's so like tee uh oh mm. the, he died yeah like and people like yell and get mad but even when they're yelling get mad and getting mad they're like oh like like someone will slip mid-fight like oh my god are you okay mm -hmm. like, let's and help him up like yeah everyone's so polite and soft about everything which is why link click threw me for a loop because it's cause fucking it's, violent and <laughs> scary yeah. yeah it's fucking hard yeah um so yeah it's but people love Heaven Official's Blessing. Um, animation's great. It's yeah. very cool. It's very link click looking. China has like such a distinct animation style. It's just style. like red under the eyes, which is yeah, like also that. it's very big in Japanese makeup. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the girls do that like red under the eye highlight thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know. I, I, I like it. I feel like a little bit like it's like much more like I guess like a natural look. But like yeah. they do that and then they make all their men just like seven foot <laughs> bean bowls. <laughs> yeah. It's all like, 
all the colors are so like fuzzy. Mm-hmm. And it's just fuzzy animation. The outside of their house, like their their Photoshop is yeah. like, yeah, like very pastel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so yeah, hopefully China like, you know, keeps making banging shit. Okay, we'll talk about it. When Japan, when the Japanese animation studios fall through, I mean, yeah. China, like, <laughs> we got it. Yeah, which MAPPA thinks is happening today like, yeah, yeah they're like know. oh yeah it's, it's done you know we'll yeah. get you calling game whenever we get you calling game listen kick it to china they got enough people yeah true. that's the thing like it's it's easier and cheaper to hire somebody in china fucking throw them in it like fucking link click looks great yeah no oh, it like, does look great. yeah like if, uh, let's, pour, let's prop up some chinese animation studios yeah. that aren't trying to put four people together put the like to make sure the <laughs> entire culling game works yeah exactly which is wild to me because like japan is so densely populated like i guess that it's more expensive to hire people because you have to pay them and all yeah. that but like it's just greed. Fuck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's literally just greed. Yeah, like, and- it's also just them, like, the corporate, like, upper bosses being like, yeah, I don't know what a fucking animu is. Like, yeah. just fucking make the cartoons. Yeah, like, you fucking give yeah. The, yeah, make them kiss or make yeah. them punch. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't like, know what's don't going care. on in the story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, everyone likes Toji. Keep doing keep doing that. Yeah. Um, so I got a flashback if uh, I kind of want to come bring up with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Invincible isn't back yet. Guess what? You don't have to ask if you can I got to listen, cut, cut. Can I go to the bathroom? You don't have to yeah. ask. Yeah. This is fucking college. Invincible's not back. You're right. Which Who, wasn't it supposed to be? No, like people were like, like truly nobody at Amazon said it was coming back in January. Like it Seems, was, it was just a rumor. I thought it was like a tweet. They were like, oh, we're pausing it so that you can get some of this goodness in. It's just gone. No one said anything. It's yeah, just, it's just on gone. hiatus. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. It's just. I, the the audacity to drop four episodes of a show after like being like their social media team was so cute. I know. They're like, oh, us waiting for season two of Invincible. Fuck off. Drop the whole show. I know. Just keep waiting. Like, Metallic Ruse is dropping dub and sub simultaneously. Like, what are we doing? I know. It's ridiculous. But what's your news? If it's the voice actors, yeah. drop it and sub. Dude, if it's the vo- what sub though? I don't Japanese? give a shit. I don't fucking Italian. I don't Whatever's care. Whatever's ready. Yeah, I, don't, I literally do not care. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, the voice cast is annoyingly stacked. Like, I don't need every single character and side character to be, like, top-of-the-line, real live-action actors. Yeah. Hire voice actors who are down to do shit at a moment's notice. Yeah. And then give the animators more time and money. Like, also, like, you could bring them in right now, and they could do the voice, the same yeah. voice. You could do what you did with Dan Harmon, or yeah. whichever one fucking oh, yeah. went <laughs> fucking- to jail. What's his name? Neither of them went to jail. Justin Roiland. Justin Roiland. Yeah. Find somebody who sounds like him. <laughs> That's our fucking, like, journal- journalistic integrity. He's like, in jail. Yeah, the, the fucking uh, uh, Dan Harmon, who's yeah, in who's jail. Who's in jail, yeah. yeah he's like, like, the creator of Rick and Morty. Who's, I think we <laughs> shot him into the moon. I think yeah. we did that. We did that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, what's your news? Uh, fucking Oda. Do you know he has a second manga? I heard there's beef about it recently. What do you or mean? no. Someone was like, Oda, is it going to Netflix soon? It's yeah. Oda's like getting a new show going it got, to it's Netflix. It's getting another anime. It's like he, Oda is going to have two anime running simultaneously. What is this manga? So it's called uh, Monsters 103 Mercenaries. Oh, wait, no. It's called Monsters hey, 103 I'll, Mercies Dragon Damnation. I'll stop you right there. Fuck this show. It's <laughs> Fuck a that. stupid name. Mercies? No, so it's Monsters 103... I'm not watching this. I will I'm probably s- watch it. I'm simply not watching it out of spite of this title. Um, I will probably watch it if only to be like, oh, this is just, yeah. Monsters 103 Mercies Dragon Damnation. I will probably watch it Whoa. just to be like, oh, this is literally one piece, but reskinned. Wow. I heard that. That's what the controversy was. People were like. It's a story about is, Zoro. This is it? Well, so it's a story about a samurai. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we talked about this briefly. Did we? He made this before One Piece. Oh, we did? Yeah, this came out before, like, this was his earlier manga. Yeah, from 1994. It's a short story. It's a one shot. Yeah. Which is wild because a one shot is usually 50 pages long. Mihawk is just oh, literally he, in this. He's in it. It's a, there's a mustachioed man with a curly mustache who has an open shirt, but he plays like a more direct role, and it's about a samurai who looks just like Zorro. Uh Like, I think having beef with like, there's a clown, there's a clown character. um, And I think he has beef. Uh, The trailer that I saw was only in sub Japanese. So I I couldn't see what the fuck was going on. So I didn't know this manga existed. 
Um, and so I think the dub or at least wow. the sub might be out, but like, as I was watching it, it was literally just Japanese, no subtitles. Mm. So I had no idea what was going on, but I saw a black haired Zoro, Mihawk and a clown character who carries a fucking club like Alvida. Yeah. Like it's like, it's like a fat clown who carries a club and I'm like, okay, cool. It's one piece. Yeah. It is similar in style. It's cool seeing like his style in something that's not one piece. Yeah. Cause it doesn't like, like if you showed me this, I wouldn't be like, Oh, is this one piece? Like he, the women are drawn differently. Yeah. Like the women are drawn more. I don't like, I like maybe not more realistically, but like their faces are, it's something about their faces. Like the eyes are more realistic or something, or like the, the, the features are lighter. Yeah. Like I can't tell, or like the eyes are bigger or something. Like it just doesn't look it's like just, the way that Oda would draw yeah. a woman. I know it's funny. He only has one design for a woman. And it's, it's de- I mean, it's definitely Oda. Like, it's yeah. not it's not like you can't tell, but it's cool to see like I don't know, it's like, you know, different animation studio than who does one piece. It's like it's cool. Yeah, it's I not Toei. Yeah, interesting. But like thank God it's not Toei. Yeah, I Because Toei is fucking awful. Yeah. I mean they've done like some apparently they've done some good work in Wano, but I'm still waiting to see it. Cause yeah. like I let's be real, it's just not, it's just inherently not good. So yeah. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't think they announced that. But Oda having two mangas, like two like manga turn into anime simultaneously is nuts. He's blown up. I mean, like, oh yeah, January- he's finally he's finally getting his come up. It's, yeah, yeah. Know, like, January twenty first. It comes out. Yeah. Don't act like he's not blowing up. I know he's literally been the king of manga, but like the richest manga of mangaka of all time. He's blowing up beyond that. He's had live, live action, live definitely action, helped. One Piece, One Piece remake, the One Piece. Yeah, this dude's on top of the goddamn world. He's making so much money. What? Like, how long before like? it comes out that he like touches little boys or something uh, like, well, first off, historically that has not stopped anybody in Japan <laughs> from propagating. Roroni Kenshin, the mangaka yeah. Roroni Kenshin got caught with, hold on, two yeah, terabytes of CP. That's so much of any form of content. I don't even, that is, I, I have, I struggle to fill two terabytes of like video videos. Games. Yeah. Like, I have, I think somewhere between 15 and 18 Full length YouTube videos sitting in my drive right now. I think it's a terabyte. Yeah. Maybe. That's gotta be if it's 15 videos, that's at least And it's all illegal porn. And it's all illegal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, yeah it's like completely 18 yeah. plus. Yeah, it's all animal shit. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Well I'd listen, I'd probably be better. I'm listening. Oh, you'll be watching very soon. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's gotta be like what, eight, nine hours of content? Where do you find sure. where do you find twenty hours of CP? Eight, nine hours? It's got to be like, I mean, assuming it's not all like in 6K, Fuck if it's all right. 1080p, it's like hundreds of hours. Hundreds of hours. Yeah. Like genuinely know, hundreds of hours. I, if you had told me like how many hours of CP are out there, I guess that it, it makes sense that there is that much, but getting your hands on that much yeah. is how? Just, you know, a, a hard working guy. And you know, <laughs> and you know what happened? What? They, he got another season to the show, came out last season. That's yeah. Yeah, it was like Veronica Kenshin had three seasons. It came out that he had CP. I think he got a fine and they took the hard drives and they're like, oh, oh, <laughs> you. Maybe that's why they were like, it must have taken your entire life to get this collection. Mm-hmm. Us taking your collection is, enough. is good enough. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, you're now forbidden from buying hard drives. Wow. Yeah, true. That guy should be banned from Best Buy. Yeah. Sure. And <laughs> like, he now is just season four of Veronica yeah. Kenshin is coming out and everyone's like, oh, wow, it's so good. And it's Ugh, like, oh, crazy. Yeah. What are we doing here? Fuck that. I think, I don't know. I think some people were like, oh, he sold the rights to it or something. So they're like, oh, we're not, it's not going to his pocket. I don't know. Right. I didn't fucking watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing a Roni Kenshin. So like, if Oda gets caught touching little boys in Japan, fucking, I guarantee I get, people, uh, people would yeah. finish the story. I know, for sure. Wow. It would probably explain a couple of things though. Explain Bonnie. Right. There's a 12 year old, like she's part of like the worst generation. And like, if she has like the ability to like change how old she looks yeah. and no one knew how old she was. And then a couple of chapters ago it was revealed that she was 12 and everyone was like, there was like oh. a collective sigh in the one beat that everyone was like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. why? It's, it, it's it like, just stop. Yeah. Like, yeah. just don't do it. Like it's unnecessary. And then like in one piece all the time, it's like a 16 year old princess and Sanji's like 22. And he's like, Oh baby. I and know. you're like, please don't. You think Oda like, is on the set of like live action one piece and like shit like that comes up and it's just like, yeah, so we're, uh, we're going to have uh, the Bonnie character be played by this actress. And they mm-hmm. hand him the thing is like, uh, th- this woman is, uh, 
not a child. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Oda, it's not. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Or it's like every like every few shots they take, Oda just leans over and like whispers something and like, Sanji's not going to slap her ass, Oda. Mm. He's, he's just not going to slap it. Because I feel like objectively, the live action was way less horny. Mm-hmm. But like, and it was like- It had to be. Like, like, like it, there's no way they could have like, they. I don't think Emily Rudd would have let herself be put in those situations where it's like, and this is your know. shower I don't know scene. Shit about Emily Rudd, maybe she would. But like, <laughs> okay, but here's the thing: it's like they're so they're so overt. Yeah. Like, when was the last time you saw like you were watching a live action movie and you were like, this is overtly lustful? Game of Thrones, like in its entirety. I guess that's fair. Um, what was I watching? But that was not that's HBO. It's not on Netflix. I feel like I watched like some horny shit recently. Uh, Oppenheimer. <laughs> Oh, there was there was a lot of penetration. With, You're right. With, uh, what's her name? Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh just like they lounging. really just wanted to get. They wanted to yeah. show her off. Yeah, like so. Yeah, it happens. Jennifer like, Lawrence and uh, you could put her in a robe. Why not? Yeah, like, that's very she fair. She doesn't need to be. Yeah. Well, Jennifer Lawrence had like if she didn't suplex that guy naked, <clears> it wouldn't be nearly as funny. True. Like we wouldn't be talking about it ever. No, it would. That is the crowning moment of that yeah. movie for sure. For sure. Um, but yeah, I don't even remember. I, that's fair. Hollywood is horny. Yeah. So, but it's like the level of horny of an anime will never do. No, we're not going to like, cause the thing is like, there's so many anime shots where like starts on the boobs and pans out. That yeah. would, that just simply wouldn't happen. That happened in the justice league movie. The flash runs into wonder woman and his head is in her tits. Nice. And it was so like Gal Gadot was like, I'm not doing this bit. Mm-hmm. Like, write this out and then joss whedon was like yeah sure no no problem yeah for yeah, sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and then he got the body double and just cgi'd her head onto it isn't that crazy That's he did fucked. an anime fallen boobs bit against the request of, of Gal Gadot. The, one of the main characters yeah. of the fucking dc universe yeah uh okay do you have any you don't have any flashbacks do you no do you have best boy um i do have best boy oh, do yeah. you want to do so do we want to do these at the end oh i completely forgot about this we have gifts yeah Okay, so me and Danny were sent a uh, Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection uh, booster box. And so me and Danny are both going to open half of these cards. Yeah, we um, should have started at the beginning and just done a pack per... Per bit? Per, per, bit, per every yeah. single one? Yeah. I mean, I feel like what we do is... I, Danny already basically told me what the fuck just fell. Oh, there's cards on the top? Yeah, so you get like a Mewtwo and I think a Mew. Oh, Why is like, it metal? And a metal gold Mew card. You get a metal gold Mew card? Yeah. That's sick as fuck. So that's all yours. I have these already. Oh. Mine oh. are covered in spaghetti. But, but Okay, what's annoying about this though is that these are really cool cards, but yeah. they're useless. They're like worthless, you know? I know. I also feel that way. I'm like, well, everybody gets yeah, these. Yeah, like, like, everybody gets these. Like, And I get yeah. that they're cool, but like. I like the metal one. The metal one's sick. I just play with it. Look at the Mewtwo one, though. Look at how fucking hard that art goes. Describe it. It's Mewtwo looking over, like, a dark city. Like, he's about to, like, do, like, oh, mighty. But, like, he's flying over Japan. It's like a big, like, terrorist vibe, kind of like. I mean, Mewtwo is, like, a domestic terrorist for all intents and purposes. Um, This is, uh, what are these? There's Uh, dice? comes, Comes with a deck, a bunch of dice, like a deck box. A bunch of dice. Nick is grimacing. I don't know how to play Pokemon. I have no. No one does. That's okay. Yeah, that, it's very fair. That's trash. That's just a big thing of trash. That's a big thing of trash. Yeah. That out. These are your packs. Okay. So me and Danny are both going to open these packs and we're going to... I'll tell you right now, the only cards that matter are like the last three, I think. Okay. So those are like the shiny ones. And we got a, we got a game mat. Yeah, you got a big old game mat. We got a big mat. old game mat. You know I, what? I'm going to say it. Yeah. This is like, what, a hundred bucks? Yeah, like a hundred, hundred ish, hundred twenty. Hundred bucks just feels like a good. Yeah, it feels like a good deal. Yeah, no, it's nice. You get a bunch of packs, shout bunch out, of cool stuff. Shout out to Nintendo for super not sponsoring this video. Let me shout out to the guy who sent this. Yeah, that also <laughs> would be a good idea. The man who like was like, yeah, like how about I actually send you Pokemon let cards? Let me so you can try and find that. Um, let me see. I really want this to be the exact length of oh oh. Hold up. If we can cover the Attack on Titan portion of our table. Oh, shit. Do you understand how big that will be for uh, us culturally? Mew doesn't have boobs. Who doesn't have boobs? Mew. Mew doesn't <laughs> have boobs? It should be like a boob mouse pad thing. Oh, boob mouse. Oh, I mean, we have Chun-Li over there. Like one of those? Ch- oh, we do have, yeah, Jug-Li over there. <laughs> ch- jug jug That was supposed to be Ez-Death. A, a viewer sent it to me, and I was like, uh, I don't play Street Fighters. And they were like, oh, God, what happened? 
Uh, they were very embarrassed. All right, I'm going to open my pack. Yeah, okay. I've always wanted to do this. I've seen so many TikTok lives yeah, who have done you, this. You look fucking ready to go. Oh, God. I, sometimes they have scissors. They have, <laughs> yeah. I, got, I, I was always like, I always That's see baby them. baby shit. Man, they open them so fast. How do they do it? Wow. I don't want to hurt the cards. <laughs> I, I fucking got mine open while we were talking. What do you, all of them? You just, you do it like, uh, I don't know, what's an, I've never had to teach an adult man how to open a pack of cards. My, like I, you, do I literally pinch, just, you do a pinch and pull. I literally just cut my nails. It kind of hurts. Okay. If, what if you just ri do like a, I don't know how to help you, Nick. Why are they so secure? <laughs> I gotta find this guy. What's don't. the most expensive card we can get? Uh, Charizard. Of course. Why, yeah. why is there so many fucking... I don't know. How much I, is that? Oh, I got it. What are, the, what, are the, what are those bad boys running for nowadays? Can't you tell if you got anything good by the back card? No, that's nothing. So the last... I mean, if you want to run through all of do your, you do, do you do a three to the front, four to the something or another? Let me, let me see what the... Okay, so yeah, the last three cards before the energy are your big ones. So I got nothing. I got like a Goldeen, a Hitmonlee, and a Vileplume. I got a Magikarp, an Oddish, Mankey, Meowth, Nidoqueen, Victrabelle, Big Air Balloon, hell yeah. I got okay. a Muck. Um, I got uh, I got a, a Hollow of Psyduck, but it's not Hollow on the photo. It's Hollow on the... You got a Reverse Hollow Psyduck. I got a Reverse Hollow Let's Psyduck. Go. And then I got a Chansey. Uh, but it's Very not cool. like hollow, hollow. Okay, it's, um, it's just shiny. It's, I guess is oh, is that what it's called? No, I don't know. It's like, it's like hollow. Yeah, it's you got a shiny hollow. Yeah, you got a hollow chancy. And then I got a shiny basic energy lightning. Nice. That doesn't feel good. I feel like I did bad. Well, you know, you keep going. It's gambling. It's literally gambling. It with, is. It's gambling with, meant for children. With Anthony D. Fiore's money. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony D. Fiore's. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. So I got like nothing. I'll open mine now. Okay. Do a little ASMR here. Oh yeah, get that, get that sweet, sweet packeting, baby. I love this shit. This is the shit I live. You for. love. You wanted. You just wanted to do this full time. You wanted to gamble. Oh yeah. You were like, I'm gonna start another page. Oh. I'm just gonna open Pokemon cards, and then you realize how expensive that is. Dude, this like set, the 151 set, the art on like every card is astounding. Look it at this little really Poliwhirl. Look at this little guy. That is a great. Show the camera. Oh. I don't know if any here. That's Poliwhirl. Look at him. They're great. I love the art on here. All right, what'd you get? Okay. Um, energy. I got Gyarados. Hollow Gyarados. Nice. We gotta figure out what that's called. Uh, I think it's hollow. Okay, we got hollow Gyarados. Okay, I got like nothing. I got a Parasect and a Bill's transfer. <laughs> I like the ones. Why that are they giving like... this shiny fucking bullshit? All right, uh, we got a Magnetite. A Caterpie, an uh -huh. Eevee, a Dome Fossil, Gloom, a uh, Clefable, Doug Trio, mm -hmm. uh, a Hollow Tentacool. Nice. Um, yeah, we got, we, got, we got Hollow Tentacool, baby. Oh, that is just not focusing. Yeah, it's... Yeah, you get it. You this get is it. tough. Um, and then we got a Flareon. Oh, and sick. then I have a Super Hollow Stage 2 Nido King. Nice. And then I have a Basic Energy. Very cool. Now, I'm so waiting for you to get like the best card of the set because God loves you for some inexplicable I am, reason. This is a this is like a weird thing that me and Dorothy Dorothy's been really upset with me over recently is that I have a, an insane amount of luck. Yeah, um, you do. And it's not anything I can control. Yeah, I just am one of the luckies. I just left Vegas. You're one of the luckies. I I just left Vegas three hundred dollars up. Yeah, but Stephen left up five hundred dollars. So like Crazy. I'm like I'm not even as lucky as some other people. Yeah, like my luck my luck sputters out against that. I know I'm debating whether or not we make this interesting. I should have came with a game prepared and like Based the on Pokemon cards. Like the consequence is. Have you ever seen people like scissor one in half before oh, they I hate open that it? Shit. Fuck that. Yeah, no, dude. no. Because like what if there's something important in there and there's only that's, so many of them made? That's the bit <laughs> like that, that that's the risk it still makes me upset okay i have tentacool rattata venonat pidgey ivysaur cody will like that yep Slowbro, machoke a hollow porygon which is like oh hell yeah that's a that's the fucking <laughs> seizure simulator yeah uh a weedle hollow weedle hollow dodrio Look we're, at you. We're striking out. We right are. Now, I got an Execute, you. a Clefairy, a Machop, a Porygon, non-holographic, Primeape, Fero, Onyx. I got a holographic fucking grabber. 
The Grabber. The grabber. My favorite Pokemon. The Your opponent reveals their hand and you put a Pokemon you find on the bottom of their deck. Nice. Yeah, that's, yeah, that seems that seems pretty. That seems pretty the, good. The fucking yoink job. If any of us, you know what's crazy is that there's so much money in this game and nobody fucking plays it. I got a holographic Dragonite. Nice. Cute. I, that's I feel like it's not holographic enough. You'll know when you get a crazy one. I've, and then I got a I got a holographic Vaporeon. And fun, cool. the fun facts about Vaporeon is they're about three foot six inches, which means that they're, they're perfect for male companionship. Uh huh. Um, and if you have if you have a Pokemon, you can do whatever you want with it. Why is that? It being three foot six inches, mm -hmm. what does that have to do with fucking it? It's a Reddit. It's a Reddit. It's I know, a Reddit. but I don't understand. Well, if it's three foot six inches, that means it's it's asshole dilates to the <laughs> the rough diameter of a human penis. Obviously, <laughs> is that what that means? I have no fucking idea. Oh my but God. Somebody, somebody thought it was. All right, my shiny ones are a shiny cloister. Let's go. Here we go. This is what a crazy one will look like. I got this machoke. It's a full art. He's helping someone move. Damn, there's a lot going on there. He's helping. He's helping someone move out of their apartment. Can you imagine having like a like a fighting champion fucking Pokemon and be like, hey, hey, uh, we got some boxes upstairs. You want to move those around for me? It's like, I hey, I know, I know, brick punch. Like I can like fucking, I can break this wall if I want to. Your mistake is asking. You just go, yeah, yeah move it, go slave. <laughs> yeah, go. So that's exciting. I like that one. I got Weedle, Zubat, Goldeen, uh, Weeping Bell. I got a actually sick looking Haunter. Um, nice. Hitmonlee, War Turtle. I got a Holographic Sandshrew, a Holographic Shelder, and a Holographic Machamp, but none of them are good. I'm getting fucked over here. <laughs> We're both getting a little fucked. It's tough. You know, it's the, this, is the, this is the racket. Why do people do this? It's fun. It's gambling. It's literally gambling. But like, we're not going to sell these. You could. Does anybody actually sell these? Yeah. No, I feel like people get them and then they're like, oh, I have this one. And then they hold on to it forever and they never sell it. Where do you where do you sell a Pokemon card? Fucking eBay? I could bring you to places that would buy Pokemon cards. I have a friend who came over yesterday, bought a huge thing of like 36 Magic the Gathering packs just to flip it. Like just to turn a That's profit their on. grind. That's their grind. He loves it. That's like saying, like, "Oh, I'm gonna go put this this like my entire check on red, and I'm I'm gonna double it." Yeah, that's. I mean, it's not a good grind. No, it's gambling. Yeah. Uh, I got a seeking, Machamp. What the hell? Basic energy. Oh, here we go. And then a Slowpoke. Nothing good. I got Electro Buzz, Coughing, Tangela, Grimer. Oh, Dragonair. I love Dragonair. Nice. Uh, Cedra, Kabuto. Uh, fucking holographic Persian, holographic. Ooh, oh, Venusaur oh. EX. Oh, let's go! Wow, he's doopy. He doopy a <laughs> he doopy doopy. There we go. EXs are good. Come on, baby. Come on, camera. You got you got all right. You know what? You get it. Uh huh. Venusaur v VX XV EX. Ah, uh, that's the one. I'm sure. You know what? Uh, the centering is uh the centering's good. The lettering's fine. I think it's like a PSA PSA nine. I, I I don't know why I'm actually talking shit right now. I've I, actually watched a fair amount of Pokemon unboxing. I'm like, I'm like, I I only know the terms and that's it. <laughs> I uh, didn't notice my Machoke's only move is mountain ramming. So this person better fucking. I feel like that's basically the plot of Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> mountain ramming. Mountain ramming. Yeah. yeah, more or less. All right. My three good ones of this pack are Shiny Nidoran, Slowbro, Aerodactyl, nothing good. You're getting fucked over there. I know. I got a Ghastly, Pross, Voltorb, Krabby. The art is so fucking good. Hypno, Polyrath, Pidgeot. Uh, I got a Holographic Horsey, uh, a Holographic Dudo, and then an Arbok EX. Whoa! Yeah, cool. we're back to backing them, baby. There we go. Full art. Uh, he's not as doopy. I kind of like how doopy the <laughs> you Venusaur like, is. You like the fucking like you know what I like? hardly rendered Venusaur. Oh hell yeah! Give yeah. me like that fucking PNG. Yeah. You know what I like is I watch this. I watch this one uh, Pokemon card YouTuber. Yeah, and he tells you how much things cost when you open them. Yeah, and I'm like nice because I wouldn't. I fuck what I know. I have an app that I scan these and it tells. No me. way. Yeah. Oh, we're doing that after this. All right, Clefairy, Kabuto, little Mew EX action. Oh, it's Mew literally EX. this thing. Yeah, this I one's wonder, not the gold that's, one. Though. That's definitely worth more than this, right? Oh, for sure. Everybody gets that. Because that's fucking, that's fodder. Nice. You throw I, that in the purse. Little Mew action. I hate that you can show your pulls and I can't. Wow. Well, 
My poles are the ones we're showing. Oh, so. yeah, 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 of course. And what do you do with all the ones that aren't shiny? Uh, I throw them out. Do you just throw them directly <laughs> into the fucking ocean? Yeah, just feed them. <laughs> nice, right cool. The yeah, he's like, oh, here are birds. Yeah. Uh, I got a Psyduck, an Ekans, a, C a Cubone, uh, Volpix, Gloom, Dugtrio, Clefable, Nidorino, Magmar, Aerodactyl, and a shiny basic. No, not even a shiny. Fuck you. <laughs> all right, last pack. Aerodactyl, last pack magic. Aerodactyl is such a badass Pokemon. Yeah. I feel like Aerodactyl is one of the most forgotten 151 Pokemon, and For it was sure. fucking terrifying. Yeah, you like him? He's terrifying. Okay, my last pack. Butterfree. Nidoran. Alakazam EX. Nice. Very cool. It's just got them spoons. Is that is that technically a full art? Does that count? No, it's not. If he's if he's just peeking out of his box, that's just art. Baby. Oh, then my fucking my fucking Arbok isn't a full art either. No, I wasn't gonna say anything, but last pack magic, Sand True, one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh Seal, another great Pokemon, Caterpie, Dudoo, Omanite, Tauros, Kadabra, Eevee Shiny, Tauros, Viplume. I got Vileplume. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Fucked. Well, you know. It's fun. Send I, us another one. Yeah, keep keep them coming. Keep them coming if you like us. Keep them coming if you'd like. Also suggest uh, like games or stakes that we could do if you vaguely liked this. I know it's pretty low energy, but just know. What do you mean? What? This is a high production value right here, I'm baby. I'm just giving a little, I'm giving a little thing. I'm trying to get more, idiot. Yeah, yeah, You fucking fair. idiot that's boy. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Send Listen, us some, send us some. I, I genuinely love doing this. We got mild pulls for sure but hey listen i got venusaur if you you didn't get venusaur i got chunky boy <laughs> I got chunky boy ps2 venusaur um if you'd like to hear or see more of this and have some suggestion of a game we could do with it uh feel free send it dm me on instagram we they go to like my trivia PO box tri trivia game for a pack in the middle <laughs> whoever gets one question right you get to open it that's sick that's i right like there. that um, that's very cool. If we had any semblance of planning outside of the fact that we got served a spaghetti cake earlier, yeah. we would have done exactly that. Here's the thing. We have one more box. Oh, we this do have one, one more box. This one's quick. By the way, are we celebrating a year today or are we doing, are, are we, is this like, are we we'll do gonna, it next time? We'll just mop this up to your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll say uh, this is, this is Danny's birthday celebration, which is kind of fitting because I feel like there's nothing you'd rather do than open Pokemon packs. And work. Th that's exactly. why I'm trying to beg for more. Uh -huh. I wish. I so desperately wish you Danny's played that. PO box. I wish. That's what I was saying, and then no. you interrupted me. Send it to my PO box. There is what go. I'm saying. Um, I so desperately wish that you liked Magic: The Gathering. I'm on such a Magic: The Gathering kick, and I wish you played it. And that's was all. it the beanbag that did it for you? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, you sit in it, and then just years of magic knowledge floods You're in like, your there's head. There's a black lotus out there waiting for you. So, here's the thing. Um, oh, you know the terms. You know the ones. I know the one, I know the one thing. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The most expensive guard. So, Broken Princess, our wonderful, wonderful viewer, um, mm -hmm. has sent a gigantic box of things that she's made. She's done this to me frequently. Okay. Um, I'm kind of an expert on opening... Uh, Broken Princess's gifts. Gotcha. And I know you kind of got to speed run it. Okay, because there's a lot of them. There's a lot. There's an itinerary. Oh, Christ. Okay, Kakashi goes to Nick. Here nice. you go. Why is Kakashi wrapped in pink? I don't know. You got to find out. Kakashi looks sick. I love it. Explain, Did they explain do what this you've art? gotten. Did they do this art? I, oh, from Princess, I guess. Yes. Um, so I'm currently looking at Kakashi holding up his finger like he's a bad little boy with a secret, which he is. And the secret is the monkey Sharingan that he stole from Obito. Oh, that's why there was paper. Uh, it was censored. Oh, let's go. Oh, huge cock. Huge cock. Holy I didn't shit. even see the penis. Oh my, oh my God, I didn't see the penis. Wow, gigantic slorshage of a dick. Oh my God. What's the second one? Uh, the second one oh appears God. to be... Uh, it appears to be a intimate romance scene between. Help me out. Here. Oh, oh, that one's for me. That's Joe okay. and Cherry. Okay, from Skate I, the Infinity. I was gonna say Deku and possibly Mitsuri. Um. Oh, thank you. That one's for you. So yeah, this one's less phallic. It's uh like very like pastel looking. Wow, they're just like oh wet less all phallic over than this. Yeah, less phallic. Less than phallic fucking... than cock Kashi. <laughs> yeah. It's a low bar. This is fucking, this is getting framed. I immediately, this is dope. That's going right above you and Dorothy's this above bed. My bed. Yeah. Oh, this has to be for you, right? Let me see. Hold on. 
Um, let me see. Armstrong goes to Danny. Nick was surprise a pin. Wait, I think I think this is another this is another thing. Oh, check it out. Oh, fucking he left uh, Frank left his rap, his sword rap here. Oh, inspired mailers. Armstrong. <gasps> oh, that one's for me. Oh, here. I want this. I have a trade. I think this is for you. Is it Calcifer? It then it's definitely for fucking me. Oh my god. There you go. I I'm not going to Thanks. This one's uh, this is a, a an art of uh, Armstrong in like a bunny bulma. Oh, Nick is flabbergasted by his gift. It's a little embroidered this calcifer is so napkin. Cute. It's an embroidered calcifer, and it says, "May all your bacon burn." That's awesome. That's I, fucking awesome. I like, don't see that on. The, I don't know who made it. Uh, I, yeah, there's no like, there's no like, I made by, yeah. styled by, but this is fucking great. Yeah, I don't know. That's awesome. I'll princess can have the. Is that is that supposed to be like that. a cup holder? I'm trying to figure out what like not the cup holder. Do you like put a, something in it? Yeah, because I wouldn't want to like stain it. Yeah. Uh, double tie art is the there's oh gotcha. I think it's I think it's from them. Oh, where did I think you it's find from that? Double tie. I don't know. It was in the it was in the mailer. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Double tie art did these art pieces, not the calcifer. Not the Calcifer. Yeah. Okay, so this was added into Calcifer. Well, shout out to Double Tie Art for Kakashi. Yeah. Wait, Double Tie did Kakashi? Because this says Cabo Obama. Nick, I don't know. Cabo Chama. I'm going with Cabo Obama. Just trying to fucking get this open. Yeah, you are. Do you need a pot knife? There we go. You got it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Kobe. This is This is what I expect from Broken Princess. princess? Oh, yeah. What's going on over there? All right. We got Dorothy, Dorothy. Princess loves to make little origami boxes. Okay. And tons of them. Okay. So these are for Dorothy. We won't open those. This feels like the um, the girl who was like stuck in a mental asylum for a couple of weeks. Easy. And she was like, I make paper stars. What, what do you, what you, you never saw that? The girl who was like, I make paper stars. And I made them until my fingers bled. And then I made more paper stars. No. You didn't see that? Oh, this girl made like... This, oh, gajillion. This for you, it's a little mushroom. Oh, why are we throwing art? Yeah, it's hard to get to you. What's bigger? This mu no, it's definitely Kakashi is bigger. That's that's for sure. Yeah. This is adorable. Okay, this one, a uh, little necklace for me, a little choker necklace. It's yeah. Beads and such. What's the hanging? What's the hanging like aspect a little, there? Little crystal. Little crystal? Little crystal guy. What's that what's that crystal supposed to what's that what's supposed to bring about? You think it's my J.O. crystal? Oh, you don't know about I thought you were making a thing. What is what relax. Relax, Nick. Do you jerk off to crystals? What's going on over You've there? You've never heard of the J.O. crystal? Why would I have heard of the J.O. Can crystal? Can you look up J.O. crystal while I do this? Hey, do I have to turn on private search? No. It's a Craigslist ad. What do you what 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 what? It's a Craigslist ad. A guy wanted some bros to charge his J.O. crystal with him. So like you jerk off onto the crystal? <sighs> The crystal I wear around my neck contains an essence that, that gets recharged when I jack uh, it with a bro who also has a crystal. It gives me confidence at work, home, social situations, ETC. Nobody knows the J.O. crystal but me and my bros. Love that. I have seen it glow white while zerking it with a bud. Uh, that's how I know this is real. You can come over for as long as you want, but I need a picture of you preferably wearing a crystal before I waste my time. That is... <laughs> Fucking awesome. That's a Craigslist ad. Only me and my bros know from the power of the Zerk. Can you can you describe the photo of him? Did you see the picture of him? Oh, no. I just thought it was like a photo of a crystal and then it was Germa. Germa? Germa was put next to it. Oh, weird. No, there's like a shirtless sweaty dude. Oh. Uh, the kind of guy who would have a jerk off crystal? Yeah. Is also, that another embroidery? Yeah, there's a little Mononoke one. Is that for you and me? I don't know. I think that should be for you. I got calcifer. I'll take this one. There's a little like. Forest Sprite. Yeah, Forest Sprite from yeah. Princess Mononoke. Absolutely adorable. And then um, I'll give you just the dream above. Okay. I don't know who this is for, but I'll give you the ones that I do know are for you. Okay. And then we'll move on because it's getting long. Oh, you, you don't think our, our Pokemon and present opening? Listen, it's your birthday. This is us celebrating your birthday. It's my birthday. This is, and I'm here doing this. It's Danny's birthday. Oh, that's got heft to it. Oh, yeah. I like that I get presents on Danny's birthday too. Do I? Okay, I pull this out. Uh huh. It's a paper star. <laughs> it's a paper star. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, it was her it. all along. It was. Uh, 
That's Rose, so funny. Our broken princess. When did you? What? How was your stay at the mental asylum? Uh, it's a jar of. <laughs> it's a little jar of glitter. Don't open it. It's a. It's uh, not meant to be opened. Did you learn that the hard way? <laughs> That's just what it looks like. Glitter will just come out. I could imagine if you open a yeah. jar of glitter, glitter you, will go places. What you think will happen will happen. Uh huh. Usually actions have consequences. And uh, some sickest. Oh. <gasps> yeah. You got a jo crystal. I, Danny. I think we have plans for after the pod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, uh, so the next the next video we're going to be making is going to be a Patreon exclusive. Uh, it's going to be me and Danny charging our crystals, if you know what I mean. Oh, my God. Uh, thank you, Broken Princess. That's very nice of you. Let's open this one with a heft here. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I got a chaining. Hold up. Hold up. I got a, so I got a bracelet. I got another. I got a, I got a, I got a bracelet, I think. Yes, I got a bracelet. Let's see if that would that fit around my wrist. We'll see. I have chain extenders at the very best. That's dope. I love Mother of Pearl. I got uh -huh. Princess sent me this notebook, and it, the itinerary said notebook is for Danny. And I opened it up, and there is writing in it, but there's a lot of writing. So I was like, oh, I'll read this later. Uh -huh. While you were opening that, uh -huh. I skimmed through it. It's like three or four fan fictions about me and Rombo collected from the internet not like from oh but are the ones that you've heart. seen prior yeah but they're now uh, now like, they're written immortalized out. yeah wow this is something there's also a so no head uh pin which i kind of love i just wish i got the reference because so it's great no uh it's a it's a it's a what it's a vine um okay cool wow we did it we did it thank Yo, you so much shout uh, out to broken princess That's princess nice this is awesome i do love this little journal of fan fictions it's really funny um, but yeah, I'll make sure Dorothy and Sarah get all their stuff. There's some other stuff like for me and Nick, but th it's very late and two podcasts is a lot. Danny's EP. Uh, this brings us to our favorite part of the show, the part where we poll our live audience with a question. Uh, so we are going to ask the people who are watching us currently, the people who are staying up late to hang out with me and Danny uh, after our long day of content, members only content. So uh, Danny, do you want to go see if our lovely glorious members have anything to ask us in the form of a love letter? Wow. And if you guys ever want to ask us a love letter question, you can become a member on Patreon or on YouTube uh, to watch us live, to watch me and Danny really, uh, you know, just live our best lives here and also get access to pods early. Like everybody who is a YouTube member got to see the interview that we just did with Frankly Built. That won't be out for you guys for about another month or so. So Rose asks, if Fuck Around and Find Out was an anime character, who would it be? King Bradley, for sure. Full Metal Alchemist the brother. Fuhrer. The Fuhrer King Bradley himself. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a tank run away from somebody? Uh, like through buildings. Through buildings yeah. away from a man. No one has ever set foot in a tank and been like, hey, Let's get away from this thing. With a sword. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There's going to be a guy with a sword who's going to make us realize how fast we cannot go in reverse. I love the idea of that tank that he was chasing, like pulling up beside another tank that was like heading towards him, being like, no, you don't want any of this shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, get out of here. Yeah, like, go to the better yeah. side of town. Like, you don't want to be near the Fuhrer when he's mad. King Bradley is just like, aside from just being like the embodiment of a wrath, mm -hmm. is just so unbelievably competent at yeah. everything he does. He's just like raw confidence. Yeah. I love that guy. Who's yours? Uh, I got to say, and this is kind of a sleeper pick here, but I got to say Shino from Naruto. Okay. Uh, Shino is <laughs> one of the only- Yes. One of yes, the you're right. Only characters in Naruto who's never lost a fight. Yeah. Uh, every time he wins a fight, it's horrifying. Yeah. Uh, because here's the thing. Shino is like a diminutive, like easygoing kind of background character. Yeah. His entire thing is that like every time he tries to talk, people talk over him. Yeah. Right. He's like too quiet. Then he fights people by like jamming the air pipes in their palms with yeah. bugs. Yeah. And they blow their arms off. I know. He will like catch some dude mid monologue and the guy's like, are there bugs in my arms? Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> and then he, he also has bugs that he can inject into people's skin and he has to feed these bugs the exact amount of chakra necessary to keep them alive. And if they get fed more chakra, they grow infinitely mm. and just explode you from the inside out isn't it like a theory or your specific theory that shino is the strongest character he is in boruto the most relevant character to battle against otsutsukis like he Crazy. is as good as a match for otsutsukis as you could have with somebody minus like speed and strength right yeah that's that's a good one nobody wants to fuck around with shino i would have also taken konkuro yeah just scary dudes I, with it, and they fight yeah. And they fight and it's even. Yeah. Like they like cancel each other out. Like I think Shino knocks out Conqueror and then Shino like falls down later or something. I, I think 
Conqueror just gets a fucking puppet full of bugs. Like, yeah. It's just termites. Yeah. Like, yeah. Which is like, the, like he has an answer for everything because bugs can do so much shit. Yeah. So yeah, if I don't want to fuck with anybody, it's the class shooter with bugs in his skin. Yeah. I think <laughs> I'm good. Uh, but all right, that's all that we got, ladies and gentlemen, for the week. Thank you so much for checking in. We appreciate it. It's been a long day for me and Daniel here. It's going to be a long day for the next couple of weeks because we've been doing it. We're going to be doing interviews uh, to cover us while I'm away in China. But the interviews are great. Uh, for those of you who have been watching us live, you get to see it. We've got a great time. Uh, sure, our mics didn't work for a good part of it, but we figured that out. We straightened things out. It all worked out in the end. Uh, but if you guys want to help us and be the super bestest of all time, follow us on all the platforms, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Become a member if you want to. Become a Patreon member if you want us to make more money on the on the money that you'd be giving us to support us. Uh, the splits are a little bit better over there. I think we just dropped part two, maybe part one of Keep Talking and Nobody Dies or Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Uh, me and Danny both tried our best at defusing bombs. It's actually really fun. Making a little couple of TikToks out of that. It was, a, it was a good couple of hours. Exhausting, though. Oh, my God. Being the bomb diffuser is fun. Being the person reading instructions on a PDF for an hour awful but uh i'm nick also known as nc hammer 23 also known as the weeb commander daniel i am uh danny mata otherwise known as birthday princess uh mm -hmm. and that's it those are my otherwise known as that's the whole thing yeah all right uh shout out to danny being 28 years old oh, and that's me shout that's out to nick being 32 that well i would buy that rule i would be 31 but close enough Age is age, baby. Yeah, unless, yeah. you know, you want to put it on a sliding scale, then you can be the oldest person in the podcast. <laughs> but we're going to go. And we love you guys so much. Bye. Bye. Ah.